Someone that gets me. That burger is very dead. So dead. Let's, let me let me tell you something. Yeah, I think that I am a chicken sandwich connoisseur. Connoisseur. You, okay. Yeah. I've had all sorts of chicken burgers. Okay. Yeah. From all avenues, from Morley's yeah. to Sam's yeah. to McDonald's yeah. to Burger King. Yeah. Where there's a chicken burger, I finna eat it. You there? Okay. Yeah. So I, of course, I saw my crispy. And I yeah. Thought, okay. I'm gonna chop as you should. Do you know what I mean? I had a long day. Yeah. I thought I deserve a chicken burger. Yeah. I ordered the McCrispy uh-huh. apple pie. Okay. I added cheese the McCrispy. Oh, an addition. Okay. She- Mac chicken sandwich, by the way, with cheese. With cheese, it hits. It's very powerful. Anyways, I now took one bite of this McCrispy, and immediately, I had known I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> God, listen. It was so dry. I don't know if it's the bread. You know that that kind of bread that it has the it has like white some like flour at the bottom of the one. You know, you know the breads that when you open the packet mm. and it's at the top and you leave it open, so there's that dry one yeah. at the top. The Sorry, one that takes the air. Yes, the one that's, that's the one. On that's girl, what it tastes like. That's I'm fucking fed like. up because you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I am not one to be peer pressured. <laughs> but the way people on Twitter were going, oh yeah, the McCrispy chicken sandwich, the McCrispy, the McCrispy, uh, the McCrispy, the McCrispy. I said, nah, y'all gonna, y'all gonna yeah. fuck, fuck me up with this McCrispy. So I said, let me try it. On top of that, they had my good sister, Maya Jamma. They did a whole uh, advert. Maya Jamma holding the crispy yes, chicken yes, sandwich. Yes. I said, okay, cool. Of course. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. try this shit. Yeah. I had it one day while I was really drunk. Oh. So you know when you you know when you go back from the yeah, club yeah, yeah, and you need yeah. and you need something, something to, solid yeah to, to, soak to sober up. you up yeah so I said okay I'm having my crispy I had the bit crispy yet and I was like wow this is so dead it's so but because dead. I was really really drunk I just uh, ate it no, I just ate it, it it's actually it actually was hurting my throat as I swallowed it it's so bad it's, that's how dry it and is then, and then yeah so I ate I said nah this is dead yeah and then. I went back on Twitter and people are like, oh my days, the McCrispy chicken sandwich is the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. So I said, maybe because I was drunk, oh, my taste buds God. were mixed up. So you went again. So I did the round two, sober, oh, in sobriety, oh. just to reconfirm to myself that that's chicken sandwich is up. so fucking dead yeah, 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 who yeah, is yeah. paying the people to say this shit is good and people are like oh it's 10 out of 10 and i'm like they're going crazy for it girl no they going crazy for the no. McChicken chicken sandwich no, 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 and no. it's very dead it's very dead i actually saw when i was coming here i actually saw the advert as i was waiting for my uber and i was upset again fake pr like it's fake not good PR. it's so bad i don't care what anyone tells me it's, it's bad. bad. It's such a dead, dead. I would. I prefer the McChicken sandwich. Oh, hundred percent. McChicken sandwich from McDonald's. Hundred percent. I've hundred percent. But like you, like if I had to choose peanut beef burger and a and a chicken sandwich, I'm gonna choose a chicken sandwich. Simple. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna choose a chicken sandwich. <laughs> but this, I said, this nah. one is such a disappointment. Ah, uh, it's sad. It's, it's bad. Sad. And it's I think so what's bad. pissing me off here is that. The TL is going crazy for it. It's I all lies. Like, I really feel like it's a sheep. It's a sheep thing. You know when people are yeah. like, "Oh yeah, we all like yeah, it. Yeah, we all yeah. like it." Yeah. You know your zone. Yeah, yeah. Now that I've clocked the people who mm-hmm. have said that it's nice, I have personally decided I'm never going to take food advice from them Ever. because they don't know good things. So now I'm no like, class. so now I'm actually making note of the people who are saying that McCrispy is good, especially the influencers. Yeah. I'm like, okay, you can't trust them. That means when you're saying something from MNS is good, it's not good. Because it's all PR. Who paid you? Who paid you? Who paid I'm you sorry. To say and it? some people actually have the audacity to say they weren't paid, actually. And they're just saying. <laughs> for free. You said you like that for free. Y'all said you like that for free. Yeah, it can never be me. That burger. I'm so glad I've met someone that understands how dead that burger I th- is. I thought it was me. I thought it was just me because I'm like, is it that they're specifically giving me a dead burger <laughs> different is one. it because of maybe in ge- certain geographics they give them another no, higher yeah, different quality, areas oh. a higher quality of bread and chicken 
because I don't know. Do you know what? It's that, possible. That is very possible. That's possible. That but is in my possible. city, in East London, <laughs> that McChicken McSpicy is fucking dead. I'm sorry. I, it was like, remix in the name. It's the McCrispy. McCrispy, whatever. McCrispy uh, burger does not <laughs> bang one bit. What do you eat at McDonald's anyways? Yeah, my chicken sandwich meal with extra cheese. You get add cheese to I've it? I've never put cheese in it, you know. Okay. I that want plastic to add cheese. cheese. Honestly, you know I know. No, no, no. I'm going to eat the plastic cheese. Listen, <laughs> add the cheese. It, it gives it a certain genre of quite Yeah, you ju- it feels like, oh, I'm being something different. A little flavor. It's a bit high class. Do you, you know, know what, what burger was good? Uh, the spicy one. The, that See, one. that was good. That was actually. good. Actually, that it was good. They discontinued I'm very upset. Yeah, 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 and the like, chicken nuggets, the spicy chicken nuggets. I never tried the spicy chicken nuggets. The, was it good? Listen, the spicy chicken nuggets was my bag yeah, for like a good couple of months. I never tried it. It fucking slapped. Oh. And they had this special sweet spicy chili <laughs> sauce that you can only get with the spicy chicken nuggets Ooh. fuck it spicy spicy and it's not you know when all your both people say spicy yeah 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 it's like oh a bit spicy yeah, yeah. do you know what i mean it's not a real spice it's just a a, a tang a, a tang mm. this one was a spice it, it had a black man spice wow. a black man's pepper i can't pepper. believe i missed it no nah, any girl they need to oh, bring it back my oh, daughter's here bring, bring, <laughs> bring the spicy chicken nuggets back but i wanted to talk to you this week has been a very interesting week mm. um the woman not woman king the black panther premiere yeah was out today and i was uh I was at the premiere, which was phenomenal. Yeah, that, I mean, it's good for some. I had to watch from outside the club, you know. Oh, sister, you wasn't, you didn't I wa- attend. I wasn't there. It's okay. It's I even watched the first film again to just comfort myself. To just comfort yourself. It wasn't. There. It was. It was good. It was, okay. it was good. It was okay. It was I okay. love how you're trying to act like it, it was, was okay. okay. It was okay. You know, you should have. You, you you didn't miss out on anything. But honestly, I just want to say the movie is absolutely phenomenal. When it oh. comes, I, I believe it's going to be out soon. Yeah. Next but when week it comes week. out, you should absolutely watch it. I had. Oh, I had excited. a really, really good time. You look good. Girl, you look good. editor put the picture up. Listen, you look good. I saw some little snippets. You know what I mean? I, honestly, good. honestly, ever since they started that fashion fed uh, back, uh, back chat London ah, thing. The pressure. The pressure is getting worse. Listen, listen. We can't be, we can't be <laughs> ugly anymore. No, you just can't wear anything anyhow. You can't wear yeah, anything yeah, yeah, anyhow. Yeah, yeah. That show is very scary. So for you guys, that there's a there's a there's a new show called uh, Fashion Feds, um, and basically it's like fashion police, but in the UK, and yeah. they specifically pick. Yeah. It's specifically for the UK people. Them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've been on there before. Yeah. I made best dress last time. Hello. Oh yes, I Big know Bird. that's right. Okay. Big pussy girl, good evening. <laughs> Come on. What was it? What event was it for? Um, the Woman King. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I don't know. Editor, put it up. I didn't see. <laughs> I didn't see. I probably saw yeah. that I but I didn't. I don't remember what, what color were you wearing. It was like this really like lime green dress with like feathers. Oh, so it was gorgeous. Going up and hair was up. You know, a little diamond earrings. Class. You know what I mean? A little. Two strands, little two strands, you know, giving, giving went old classy. money. Do you know what I mean? She giving you know? old money. I was like looking like I was in the film. Perfect, per, 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 okay. Lucky you, they flogged me. Oh, they flogged. Did they flog- Okay, I was, I was, I was half flogged. Okay, what did they say? What were you, what were you wearing? I remember. I was wearing. wearing a purple dress for Guap, and um, Esther said I looked good. Mm-hmm. The other girl said I looked good, but one boy like ah, this Lee. said that Lee. Lee. Oh God, Lee. 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 Lee said he was like, no, I don't like, I don't like that. But there's actually been a lot of disarray because of the fashion fed mm. thing. Um, I think Esther said something about IVD and yes. her outfit, saying she looking looked at like meat. a like a meat <laughs> sandwich. Oh, and everybody was coming for her, coming for her, coming yeah. for her. But I feel like this is the thing in the UK. Yeah, we love it. Like mm. we love you know how the americans do it we love american you know critique you know like we are stuck on shade room we Mm -hmm. are stuck on neighborhood talk we are stuck on um jason lee's uh hollywood unlocked yeah yeah i don't know when it comes to us it's a different story they don't like it they don't like it yeah they don't like it and it's a shame actually it is a shame because i actually like fashion feds do you mm-hmm. know what i mean like of course people are like oh who qualified them oh um basically they should be like qualified stylists and mm-hmm. people that really know fashion but my thing is this yeah mm-hmm. you have to start somewhere yeah 
the people that were looking at who did the fashion police, they started somewhere. Of course. Do you know what I mean? They weren't just immediately qualified to talk about these things, right? Yeah. So let people start and let people grow. But their thing is, every time there's a show out, people are always talking about who can be the better person to do it. Mm-hmm. But the better person ain't doing it. The so better person ain't y'all. Where do we go from here? Do you know what I mean? Like, let people start things. Let this industry, let it, do you know what I mean? Let us have our own things. Let us grow. Let us yeah. be able to make mistakes. Yeah. And then in 10 years from now, who knows? They could be the next Joan Collins or whoever mm-hmm. does it. Do you know what I mean? But let people... Let people start. I think it's good. I think that I think the show's good. Like you know, I think not just because I was named mm-hmm. best dressed. Okay, <laughs> she said no. Name me again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just think it's a good show. Like yeah. it's interesting. We get to see people's outfits. Now people can make more of an effort because honestly, sometimes yeah, I do be seeing some people go to these premieres. Even me in my own house from outside the club, I'll be <laughs> thinking ah. Wow. You get big, big invite. You know you're gonna be doing that pose in front of the press who already don't know who you are. Yep. By the way. Do you know what I mean? They don't know who you are. They're just yep. there taking the pictures. And you don't want to give and them you're something. you jeans and shoe, jeans and, jeans and shoe jacket. Come I think on. this is my issue. It's good yeah. pressure. This is my issue. Mm. Before fashion feds happened, yeah. before it started, we UK people were always critiquing fashion. On the timeline, I On believe. the timeline. Mm-hmm. GRM, for example. Since GRM, since the dawn of GRM Gala, you people in your TLs, we are posting <laughs> and flogging. I have a question for you. Were you qualified to talk about that dress? Were you you yourself that posted, <laughs> I don't like her dress, her shoe. Where was your qualification <laughs> when you said it? Hmm? And this is it. Where was your... <laughs> now! <laughs> you have now become... A, what's that? What's that? Uh, what's that? The, the education... What's that school? Uh, the, when you when they go home to school to judge uh, oh. the education system. Is it UCAS? Oh, what yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, not yeah. UCAS. It's um, um, Ofsted. Ofsted, that's it. <laughs> You've now become Ofsted. You're now checking whose who's qualifications are correct. But it's something that UK have been doing for a time. For they time. made it into a show, a very high producer show, I must say. It looks good. It looks good. Of course, they put big budget in the sets. You Everyone can see it. Good. Are you upset? You're upset. Why? You, yeah. you, you're, you're upset. you unqualified people have been judging dresses from for, when? From when? Ah, uh, come on now. You're wearing, on. You've been wearing flared jeans and, and checker shirts since. And you were tweeting Come in on. 2019, <laughs> her dress, her shoe, her bag, her this. Why are you Listen, wearing school shirt to the day? It uh, made a show you're upset. Why? why? I, I like it, man. Let people do good Let things. Let people do Let good. People they don't want to be great. I think that's the pro- I think UK, the prox- it's the proximity. It is. It it's is, the proximity. It is, it is, it is. But you know what? I, I watched the show. Obviously, it's never nice when people are like saying bad things about your stuff. Yeah, do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you yeah. you get the good, you get the bad. At the end of the day, this as long it. as I felt and looked good, I'm not care. This is what this is it. This is I it. I don't care. This is it. This is it. Whatever anyone has to say about it is over. Let's stop all the fake shit. Let's yeah. stop all the da 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 da. Anyways, w- uh Black Panther was absolutely phenomenal. We went to the 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 premiere. Mm. The the movie was really good. I cannot oh, wait I for it to wait. come out. <sighs> I'm, oh, I'm really emotional? very emotional. It really focused on um, kind of like death, the death mm. of Black Panther and um, obviously Letitia Wright, who's an amazing, I amazing actor, was really trying to navigate yeah. the space after her brother's death mm. in the movie. Mm. So really, it really centers around, I believe death and rebirth, I think was okay, kind of like okay. the, the the title. And then after that, there was the after party. Oh my days, it was good. It was uh, it was very A-list. Yeah, I, don't even, I knew it would be very celebrity I was, heavy. I think yeah. it's probably the most A-list I've, I've um, party I've been to. Mm. Stormzy was there. My, oh, uh, can I just say, can I just say. Just pause, yeah. The thing is, I was upset that I wasn't at the Black Panther premiere, but I comforted myself because I thought you can't be everywhere. Do mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's not everything, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Stormzy is the love of my life, okay? Her girl, the shining. And the fact that Her he girl, was the there, shining. it just feels like my enemies are blocking me from meeting my lover. Her girl, the shining. <laughs> Her girl, the and shining. I know he's still trying to get over his ex, okay? I know. Oh, but then, man, he in that phenomenal. pink, in the pink, I'm gonna put up the picture now. Stormzy came in the bra. 
You oh see that man, I keep saying the way they the, the, the cream that they used to um cream his skin, they need to put it on sale somewhere. The guy shines, but that is money. Are you sure when he was saying, uh, Ooh, girl, you're shining? Let me Are you sure he's not talking about himself? Le- listen, he's Ooh. talking about himself. When you get a certain type of money, what's that's what people don't get here. Yeah? There's, a- there's, a, there's a different kind of glow, okay? There's a inner glow. They see the shine that you're shining, yeah? It's not normal shine, okay? It's he's not, not sh- using our cream. He's not, no. Do you think he's using the same cream as us? He ain't using E45. E40, who? That's not E45. No, 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 no. This is 4K gold. Do you know what I mean? He's using a different kind of shine. That's all the way it was gorgeous. shining. What? He looked stunning. He was at the after party. Is he like so tall and just like, just walks in the room and just demands respect? Is yeah, that the vibe? He, oh, he's gorgeous. He really is a very okay. handsome man. Another notable mention, Maya Jamal. She is a stunner. I listen. I said, do you know what I said to Maya? That was so that I, 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 they need to actually arrest me. I saw Maya and I said, Maya, I just want listen. I love you mm. and your breasts look great. Ah, <laughs> beautiful breasts. Yeah, I said your breasts look great. They're they solid. were yeah, 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 yeah. And she was like, yeah, I've seen your content. I, I said, listen, y'all better not fucking do that. <laughs> I will poo. <laughs> <laughs> Cause uh, my, I can't hold my, I can only hold my bladder for so long. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen, Maya, ten out of ten. She looked phenomenal. Because how can one woman have personality? Yeah. Face, body. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's not easy. The body and the body is not it's Photoshop. Not, do you know what I mean? It's real she, life. Uh, it's like this. The hips are like this. Inside and outside. That is. She goes in and out. And out. Like the shop. My God. In, in America. Coca Cola. In in America, in and out, like it, like the shop in America. Yeah. <laughs> she, 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 yeah. Yeah. She look good. She look she, good. She look good. Another notable mention, um, Lapita. She was on the, I might find a video, but she was on the dance floor fucking it up. I love that. She was, I don't know, I the Tootsie Roll she was doing, but she was having a good time. Ooh, I you know the way she let herself out? Yeah. Like she had a good time. She had I a good love time. That. Oh, it sounds like it was amazing. No, man. it was, it was really oh. good. I had a good time. And I think just to be around, just the fact it was black excellence yes. as well. Like it was literally an an event for us. Mm. Like it was very blackity blackity yes, black. We love that. It was very, very oh, blackity black. That sounds black. good. No. I, I had a blast. But yeah, you guys make sure make sure y'all check it out. Yeah. That. Make sure y'all check it out. Mm-mm. So I saw a tweet mm-hmm. and somebody said, Maybe it's just me, but there's no reason to go strip club before your wedding. Sorry, this whole get it out of your system is foolishness. Ooh. Now, I know usually on what is it, stag wedding, stag mm, night, mm, mm. there's a thing where there's it's a culture for the girlies to go to the strip club mm. and demand them to go to the strip yeah, club yeah. to do booty shaking and yeah, yeah. everything. <laughs> I want to know your opinion. Do you feel like what? Do you feel like that's a that's a cool thing? It's so interesting. I've never really thought about it. Yeah. But now that I do think, uh, I'm indifferent. I feel like whatever happens on that stag do, I don't want to know, first of all. Do you know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. I don't even want to know. But then I'm thinking, I don't want to go to a strip club. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want no guys thing in my face. On my, do you know what I mean? I don't think I need to get out of my system at that point. Yeah, what does that, that even mean? Like, I, yeah, because now that I'm thinking about it, I'm just like, what is the actual point? What are you getting out of your system? Well, exactly. You know I mean? Why is it? In, so not not to say that you slept and woke up one day and you decided to do stag do marriage. Yeah, yeah. Like, obviously, relations, you go for a whole relationship yeah. and then, you know, you'll then get engaged. Mm. Like, a lot of people start engaged for like a year, two years. So yeah. well, let's just say five years in total before you get married. What else is should be in your system at this point actually at this point what is still in your system what is still in your system why are you gagging to get something out of your system the day before your wedding it's a bit and then what kind of state like I feel like the day before my wedding yeah I feel like I want to be in a state of like peace do you know what I mean I want to yeah. really be it's a big thing you're doing right you're about mm-hmm. to get married like so I feel like I would want to be with a man obviously have a stag do. I don't want it the night before the wedding. Of course. But like, you know, you should be in a pensive mood. Do you know what I mean? You know, really think, t- thanking God for my life. Do you know what not, I mean? You're not shaking, not having not sh- shaking having in your, gnash in your yeah, face. Yeah, and now you're going to see babes that have bigger gnash than mine and suddenly you're dissatisfied in my own. Do you, you know what I mean? You can imagine. You can imagine. Do you know what I mean? Like Someone is doing splits and they're saying, no, my fiance can't do splits. Yeah, it's like, hold on a second. Can my fiance do splits? And now doubts come. Come. <laughs> 
God. I'm telling you. Nah. I thought about it. I was like, that's nah, true. I don't need Why that. is that the culture? That yeah, after where did that even come your from? your wedding, that's... you need to get something out of your, your system. You're going to the strip club with your boys to, yeah. to finalise the... It's like finalising like... the end of your good times. Like, this is the this is the last good time and you go yeah, have before like marriage. That. I don't like that. Now that I, I think you... about it, I never thought about it until right now, actually. Honestly, I, I, I like thought it. about it and I was like, you know what? It's good. But you know when something is so conditioned into culture? Mm. And I don't even like... I don't. Have you been to a strip club? No, I haven't. I've I've I, I've never been to a, a a strip club, but I've been to I've had a stripper for my sister's birthday. Mm, do, what did you think? I might even need to post a picture. It was actually so horrible. <laughs> I, I don't understand why women like go to strip it. club. It's so buzz. Men dancing half naked Fra- is Flapping just not... their dick. They will put uh, uh, col- uh, uh, glitter, condom, lighting up condom, yeah, it's just flinging like, their no. dick. Like, I just don't understand I don't like, it. I, I think actually it gives me the ick. It's a very icky. It's very it's like icky. Men doing all this. You're not yeah, oiling yourself. Oil. That's not sexy to me. Oh, Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, Ooh, it's just gross. That it's not, is fucking butters. That's not sexy to me. I like... I like you know, sexy to me is like, you don't even know that you're sexy. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's how you talk, how you walk, like how you carry yourself. Not you flapping Not your like fucking Not like oiling dick. yourself down and your penis is now in my face. And your face like, and then, oh mm. my God, I'm sick. And you're now, you'll tell me to be licking cream for you. Oh, body. I no. don't want it. I don't mm. want to end my, my, no, um, no, thank you. end of, uh, what is it called? Uh, starting of marriage. Yeah, with like someone that. someone with me licking and you've been getting flashbacks as you're walking down the aisle. Oh. Fucking butters. I feel like, for me, I would love, yeah. The day before my wedding, I'd love to have a dinner. That's what I'm thinking. I'd love to have a dinner you know? with my girls and kind mm. of maybe go around and just... Maybe ha- each person gives a piece of advice to Ooh, marriage. That's nice. Like, okay, this is, you know, marriage and just yeah. something to do surrounding, just kind of like a mental preparation yeah, for marriage or yeah. like, this is what you should do for your man. Like, you know, mm. just kind of like, I feel like it should be a men, it should be, let's prepare for forever, not mm. like, let's prepare for the worst. Yeah. Which is what strip club is giving me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I, I don't want, I don't, I don't want to do it. Do you, do you plan to get married? Yes. Okay. By the Lord's grace, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. In but Jesus yeah, definitely name. one day. Yeah, me nice. too. I would like, I, I, yeah. I prepare, I want, do you want a big wedding or like an intimate thing? I think I want an intimate one. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I want the, um, I wouldn't mind doing like a party afterwards. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But in my mind, I feel like the ceremony part is just so precious. Mm-hmm. I don't want randoms, like someone that I went to secondary school with and suddenly you're at my wedding. Why is that the time when we link up? Oh, you're bringing your friend, 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 no, friend, No, 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 friend. no, no, no. Because you're exchanging vows. I think it's really important. So it's I very intimate. Want just, you know, my husband's friends and family, my friends and family, yeah. and then that's it. Do you know what I mean? And then maybe for the reception bit, mm-hmm. it can be like a, you know, a bit of a, but I just want to be surrounded by people who love us. Do you Ex- know what I mean? Exactly. And like the it's simple such a, as that. It's such an intimate yeah. space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you don't want it to be strangers having to experience that because they won't no. get it. No. I even watched a video. Did you see that video of the of the um <laughs> of the best man crying? <laughs> that was <a> fucking laugh. <laughs> so question why because the thing is yeah i i am a lover girl mm-hmm. do you know what i mean so there were two part two parts to this yeah mm-hmm. on one side i was thinking maybe he's just so happy for his boy mm-hmm. do you know what i mean and he just thought wow my boy just he made it after everything my boy's been through yeah wow you know mm-hmm. that's emotional to me i thought okay so one side of me was like that one mm-hmm. the other side was of me was like is this old girl also sad that actually she chose the friend instead of him? Trust no more, no more play dates in the strip no, club. No, do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> <laughs> no more I play dates thinking, in the strip like, club. I was in a secret relationship going on here. Like my mind's just going. I'm like, why are you crying like this? Sobbing, sobbing. One little tear like this, I'd be like, oh okay, you're just an emotional guy. The guy was sobbing. And his hairline was also sobbing. God his, forgive me. His hairline was, was very bad. I don't even know what that was. It was very bad. I'm an advocate for men going to Turkey. Go to Turkey. I don't need to. I don't need. To, I don't know who needs to hear this, but go to Turkey. I, don't, I do not know who needs to hear this. Go to Turkey. 
go to Turkey. Go to Turkey. It's actually not. I don't get it. It's okay. It. Kini, it's okay. big deal. Your hairline is receding. Nice. Go and fix it. Kini, big deal. Bald does not suit everyone. I've seen some man here. Yeah, they'd be sexy. Very buff. They're in their 20s. They're now bald. They look 45. Can I talk about this here? Yeah? I want to talk about no, talk a certain about group of men, yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about a certain group of men. <laughs> Why am I laughing already? Wait, okay. You know when men say catfish, mm. you're a catfish. I know what you're going to say. I'd like to call out all the hatfishes. Ah, hatfishes are. Let me tell you something. I, mm, yeah. I'd like to call talk out all it. the hatfishes. Talk about it. I've seen some sexy guys that ah. wear the baseball cap. Mm. The beard is looking moisturized. Mm. The skin is looking sexy. Mm. The cheekbone is dead. The jawline is at 90 yes. degree angle. Yes. Yes. You've removed that hat. Yes. Yes. Why is your head the way it is? <laughs> Why is your head listen that shape? Listen, I've had an experience, and for that reason, if a guy is wearing a hat when he approaches me, I don't get my number. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Okay, I don't like surprises. Okay, let me know what I'm getting. Okay, there was this guy that I met. My God, <laughs> he was beautiful. Okay. <laughs> He was very beautiful, okay? I'm liking him. I'm even linking this man. This is when I was younger. I was even meeting this guy and he has a hat all the time. And at this point, I'm young. I didn't know that there was a difference between hat and no hat. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm actually falling for this guy with his hat on. I did not know. One day. One day. One day. One day. I went to go and meet this guy. God is my witness. Do you know I almost walked past him? <laughs> Like, this is not the man I fell in love with. <laughs> Who is he? Man. Who is this man? Who is this man? Oh my days. He looks completely different. The forehead is pushing out. One head is moving. Listen, ladies. And then how do you deal with that? Because I feel bad. I have empathy. So now I'm still talking to they this man. They know what they're doing. Tell me, listen, I if you're dating again. a guy, if you're dating a guy and you've had three interactions with him, mm. Do rag, do rag, do rag. Uh, cap, cap, big cap. trouble, big trouble. Yo, he's a hatfish. It's big trouble. He's a hatfish. Big trouble. Tell him to off that hat and let me see your head right now. Immediately, immediately. What immediately. does your head look like? Is it big? Tell me now. Yeah. I just wanna know. I just wanna <laughs> know. If your head is big, don't keep it on oh, the low. Ooh, yeah. Cause my chest can't, can't take it, it anymore. And if your head is long, please do let it, it show. Oh, oh baby, baby, I just wanna know. <laughs> I wanna know. I Bring need to the know. head out. <laughs> Bring that head out. I've seen it too many times. There's one boy that, there's one guy that I met recently. This guy is fucking sexy, sexy. Ooh, mm. daddy, who <laughs> daddy. Great voice, great oh. face. I've mm. never seen him with no hat. He off the hat. He off that hat. His God. head was mad. <laughs> <laughs> His head, wow, <laughs> wow, we listen. The bad devil say on the first date, take oh, her swimming. swimming. Yeah. Take off your head rag, off please. that do rag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Let me see your head. Hundred percent. Like, What's your head shape? Is it smooth? Is it round? Is, I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. Honestly, is I actually need. To, like I said, I do not give my number. Like I remember, I went out even just re as recent as a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, my friend was like, oh. Well, it's like, talk to him, man. He's nice. I looked at him, I said, he's wearing hat. I can't talk to him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. Big man thing. Big man thing. I can't. <laughs> I don't know what's underneath. And I'm not trying to risk it. Look, life is hard enough. Life is hard enough. I can't. I can't. And I'll be falling in love. Do you know what I mean? I'll be falling in love. So now, I'll, so my, now my situation now is the day of our wedding day. Is it hat you're going to wear? Because how do I explain it to my friends? I know what they're thinking. I've seen your head. 
You've seen your head. <laughs> I've seen Even it. The, ca- the no. head is long. The no. fight is long. You're just That's why I said go turkey, man. Because honestly, it doesn't suit everyone and it's okay. It's okay. Honestly, because there's so many things that we do, like when we're not happy about certain things, I just feel like we take so much pride in our appearance. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, but with men, it's like, they, they have this attitude. It's like, you just, just take what you get. No, I don't want to. Are you for men doing surgery though? Do, mm, what kind of surgery? Because... You know, me and my girls are talking about this kind of surgery. I don't know. It's, it happened in Grey's Anatomy. I actually don't know if it's a real thing, but mm-hmm. um, penis enlargement. It's real. See, I, I wouldn't want to know that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, seriously. So that kind Take of that surgery, to the grave. I don't want to know you better that kind lie, of stuff. You better lie like these gym girls that you, get BBL. Lie. Do you know what I mean? I don't lie. Because that, I don't want to know. Do you know what I mean? But I just, I think in terms of surgery for men, I think the hairline, do it. Ab etching. Huh? And what? Ab etching. Ab etching. Ab etching. When they is it, if I'm saying it wrong, shut up. Ab etching. When they they will now formulate the six pack. Oh, absolutely no, no. They will now say no, no, no. They're like you will go to the doctor. I need a six pack. No, They'll say no, okay, cool. I will, no. I will pump it here, pump it no. here, pump it here. No, no. You're not one. for it. I'm not for that. I'm not for it. I know I, I just did the whole speech about, you know, men doing whatever makes them happy, but she like, that doesn't make me happy. Be sad. <laughs> Don't be happy. Go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Do you know what? Yeah. Go to the gym. I'm neither for or against it mm. but please don't tell me yeah I don't want to know like seriously I don't want to know don't tell me that you did your abs please if you did your abs don't tell me but also like what kind of man thinks I need to do that's laziness you know the men are bad beasts today these days they are bad beasts they let are bad beasts let me tell you beasts. what happened me and Rita beasts. went to a party yesterday went to TikTok it was so fucking embarrassing <laughs> y'all it was the most embarrassing thing I've ever come across in my life. Yeah. What, what, what part are you talking about? TikTok. We went to TikTok mm-hmm. yesterday, fucks up, open bar. Mm. Cool. So, big up DLT all the time. Big up DLT. I saw MK and MK gave me a bottle of Bel Air. Mm. And I was holding the bottle. I said, he was like, I was like, I need a drink. You know, obviously, the guys, when you're cute, you know the yeah, vibe. Like, the yeah. guys want to be feed, want to be drinking, you know, with you. Yeah. So, obviously, when I'm really drunk, yeah, I'm the type of friend to get drunk and get and disappear and get lost. Yeah, I yeah. will start wandering around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, if you see me standing by myself in the club, just know I'm drunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I've just loitered. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, I've got the drink in my hands. I'm doing, imagine this boy came up to me and was like, um, Oh my God, Ra, you got a bottle of Belay. Where did you get it from? Where did you get it from? Where did you get it from? The How bar. did you get it? And I looked at him and I said, are you a bad bee? <laughs> I, said, I said, are you a bad bee? He said, how did you get it? I said, okay. are you a bad bee? <laughs> you want me to pour it in your mouth? <laughs> Is that what you want? <laughs> Open your mouth, okay. Let me let me pour it in there for you. Let me pour let me pour it in there. Let me for pour you. your mouth. Let me pour you a the drink. The way he was so uh, the thing is I've never met him before. Oh. I've never met him. He's like, oh my god, how did you get that drink? How did you get oh. I said, Are you a bad bee? <laughs> I was so embarrassed. And you can tell he started laughing. He was like, Okay, two shades, two shades. I just shook oh, my head. Okay. I said, I've never That's seen not nice. It's not the girls oh. getting excited for bottles, it's, it's the, the man them. The oh, man them are getting very excited for the bottle. Oh, what a life. Those are the ones that's oh. going to suck it to do six pack. Because I'm thinking, like, it's a character thing at this point. Do you know what I mean? Your age mates, they're going to gym before they even go to work. Yeah. And then you are saying, actually, I'm going to go turkey and I'm going to get a six. It's giving fake. And I know it's controversial to say because obviously I know women are getting BBLs and this and all of that stuff, but I don't know. I'm sorry. It just it feels different. I don't different. give a fuck. It's different. It feels different. It's it different. Feels different. Shut up. There should and be how shut vain up. can you be? Like, if you don't have a six pack, you don't have, it's not by force. And I love a big big belly boy. Listen, good evening. I don't mind. I like them lean. I don't mind. They don't I have like to have a six fats. pack. I like them chubby. <laughs> like, it's not that deep, but to get to suck it, to get to, to, yeah, to get, uh, it's a bit imagine too... you're, 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 in a, you're in a waiting room full of women. You're yeah, the man you're there. You're hanging there. How long does it even last for? I don't know, you know. See, I don't know the ins and outs of it. I'm sure the man, them, them, I'm sure they've yeah. been searching they've it. They've been googling it. They've been googling <laughs> it. How to do ab etching? God will bless. God will. God will bless all of you. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. But yeah, I don't. Co- I don't. Co- I don't co-sign it, yeah. and I don't sign it. 
Yeah. But yeah. just don't tell me. Yeah, I just want to know. Just just hide it. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. absolutely, For absolutely sure. hide it. But guys, without further ado, I have a new guest. One thing I love when the girls come out to play, honestly, I I think my favorite episodes are with the girlies because mm. I love the man them. Yeah, I've had a couple yeah. I've had a couple of the bad boys come on, but the girlies are mm. they mean so much to me. Yeah. Okay, so she is a content creator, she's an actor with her entertaining videos on TikTok, gaining over 5 million likes and over 97,000 followers. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we have none other than Miss Rita Malaga! <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, you have a very common surname. Do you know what I do? You do. It's You're not very popular. You are the second person this, the last two weeks that's had that surname. Really? By Logan, yeah, I was like, I feel like I've had so many people with that surname. No, but it is quite popular. It means warrior. Oh, does it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. Warrior would be for a tussle. <laughs> tussle it. for a tussle. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. How are you, my good sister? Talk to me. How's I'm your week been? good. Honestly, this week has just been like weird and good, but just whenever it gets towards the end of the year, I get into like a weird, I get tired. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, I've been fighting for my life all year. It's getting to the November now. I'm like, I start to wind down. Yes. It's the opposite of what a lot of people, other people do. Do you know what I mean? People mm-hmm. are like, oh my God, I need to rush. Oh, I need to get my goals. I need to do this. No. No. That's it's, giving poor time management. Yes. Okay? The time, I've been doing finished, that yeah. since January. Finished, yeah, now I'm like, I'm going to relax mm-hmm. a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, you still want to make money and stuff, but mm-hmm. I start to wind down. So I've just been quite reflective. You know, thinking about I love that. what I want my year to look like. What have I done so far? Like, mm-hmm. very just reflective, you know. And that's what this week's been like for me. Do you know what? I hear it. I love the end of the year. It's really a time to just kind of process. Mm. I, li- I like to say end of the year is always process and prepare. Process process, yes. and then prepare. Process yes. what you've done. Thank God for the achievements. Yes. Even if you didn't hit every single goal, just the fact that you're one step closer than 100%. before. I didn't lose the weight I didn't I said I was going I didn't lose the weight I wanted to in the year. <laughs> you know what's funny? If anybody has watched from the beginning, yeah. I swear to God, yeah, I was telling the girl is yeah, like I remember I videoed it. Mm. And you know it's worth what that video ever does. A video. I was like, girls, I am going to the gym, I'm doing my weight loss oh. journey, I'm going to be skinty this year, summertime, summertime, summertime. I promise you to the I have been to the gym maybe five times yeah. or six times this whole year. Listen, it this be like whole that. year, it be like that. It's okay. The gym is very boring, actually, in my opinion. I want to do other stuff. There must be other stuff. That yeah, you I could do classes. Do. I do classes. The classes are good. Yeah, I do classes and I do um, Pilates, reformer. Ain't she bougie? No, listen, it's good though. I only Pilates, have, buddy. Listen, it's it's heartbreak that took me there. Okay. Oh. I didn't. I didn't go there by choice. Revenge body. Ah, I no. I needed to feel something. I was in pain. <laughs> I needed so to I feel like, a pain that wasn't needed, in my heart. I was like, I need to do something. I need to do an activity, and I found it, and I love it. Like I I've been start doing since. a bit of boxing or something. Yeah, I think try classes because honestly, I think a gym, I find a gym really boring. Personally, honestly, by I yourself. did. I did a body pump class. Yeah, mm. and honestly, the trainer was Jamaican. She was this was Jamaican like? woman. Oh my fucking Must days. Good. Yeah, like I was late, so they put my ass at the fucking front. And body pump is like all these weights and stuff. All these weights pumping, pumping, pumping. Like honestly, I was so scared of the woman, yeah. I was too scared to stop. You know that was I was so scared. I didn't want to you're pushing. You're pushing. pushing, And my hand was shaking and I didn't want to drop the barbell because she was so fucking scary. I was like, girl, she is gonna cuss my ass out if I don't do this though. Does that I don't I think that was the first and last time I came. Yeah, I was gonna ask if you went back. I didn't go back. (laughs) I said sorry. I said, sister, I said you can't you can't I, you can't fear me to be yeah. exercising. I can't be in fear yeah, 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 while I'm working be, out. No, you can't, you can't. But she was militant, but she was fucking crazy. But yeah, what are the goals that you, you feel like you've done amazing in this year? Um, I think one of my goals was to be consistent. Lovely. And I've been that. Been oh, yeah, Very, very consistent. Um, I think my goals ultimately was just to be like, in terms of like content creation, to really like transform from not, not just doing skits, but more showing my personality. Lovely. Because that was something that really scared me. So, like, last year, I didn't do any talking videos. Mm -hmm. I was just doing, like, these skits and stuff like that, but it wasn't, like, really me. And I was just so scared Mm -hmm. to, like, talk, basically, in case I said anything wrong or whatever, whatever. And January, I was like, you know what? I'm going to start speaking. Because I feel like 
I'm an actor, first of all. Mm-hmm. I can also do like presenting and stuff like that. And ultimately, I enjoy talking. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I've got a lot of things I want to talk about. Per. So I started doing it and I was so scared. The first video I posted, I literally was like shaking and messaged my best friend like, okay, I'll just post a video and I'm just talking, like just normal talking. I'm so mm-hmm. scared. Da, 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 da. And now it's like so natural. I don't mm-hmm. even think about it. But for me, it was just about being consistent, um, s- finishing the things that I start and just really focusing on my own lane. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And that was like my main goals for the year. I don't really make yearly goals. Yeah. So I do this thing where every month, I will put out like my goals for that month. And then at the end of that month, I would then like put what I did. Yeah, review, so, yeah. The review, so it's all on the same page. So that's mm-hmm. what I've been doing this week. I literally went back to January and that's the only way I could actually see that there's been a real improvement. Yeah. Because I can see January, what I put, and like, you know, no update here. And I'll literally put little notes like, oh, failed this month. Mm-hmm. Oh, all these goals here, not one thing was achieved. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. literally the reality of what's happening. Then I can see progressively how the goals are is going beyond what I say I want for that month and stuff yeah. like that. Because I think you change, innit? Absolutely. And I feel you like having a, having a record oh, it's the is the best, best. thing. Because sometimes there's a lot of times there's some stuff that I, I forget that it's, I wanted and it happened so and it's not like... Uh, it's not it's not anything that I thought it would be yeah did I just say that did the drink catch my English no no I, I got what you were saying though. did the drink I but you want to go again <laughs> yeah let me okay let me go again there's sometimes there where I've not written my stuff down mm-hmm. and it's happened and I've not acknowledged it because I forgot that that's what I wanted yeah, exactly it's so interesting because last year I had a book of all the stuff I wanted to achieve this year mm-hmm. And um, I had a load of brand and people that I wanted to work on my list. Mm-hmm. And obviously that already had, you know, happened. And I found the book and I was like, yeah. wow, like I re- this, nice. at one point in life, this was like what I really wanted to do. Exactly. And then now it's here. I'm just like, mm, okay, thank you. It, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I recommend writing, yeah. like monthly. Monthly, yeah. It's so good. It's I was best, doing I, monthly. It's my second year I've done this. Amazing. It's it's so nice keep to look a track. back and it's and it's and it yeah. literally like it makes like your bigger yearly goals you yeah. now put them into bite sizes like you know i say okay cool you have your like overall yes. goal and then month to month you can then like yeah. increment like s- like steps like okay cool i want this overall goal yeah. what are the, the steps micro to get there. steps to get there less pressure less it's, it's a lot of it is yeah. a lot of less less pressure but yeah honestly it's, yeah. it's amazing yeah, and yeah. what else have you been doing this week that's it girl i've just been i was been out obviously we had a tiktok party yesterday so that was litty that was very lit um but i've literally this week i've been at home and usually i'm outside i like rebranded over summer mm-hmm. and i was just outside all the time Purr, as you outside should. outside but as you should. um this week i've literally just been very chilled honestly like just been working just thinking sometimes yeah. thinking is work in itself. Oh, 100%. Do you know what I mean? Ideas, concepts, stuff. Do you see what I'm saying? Honestly. So it's a very, very chilled one. And can I just say, I'm so proud of you, just the fact that you, obviously you were saying that you, obviously you're doing the skits before and now you're showing kind of who you are. Yeah, and I feel like for a lot you. of actors, it's actually very difficult because I think, because if somebody was to judge your skit mm-hmm. or judge you as a character, it detaches you from yourself. So you're a bit less offended because it's like, okay, this is a character I created. It's not really me. Exactly. But I feel like when you then put yourself out there, there's a little bit of vulnerability that it's like, if somebody doesn't like you, it's not, they they don't like you. Yeah. yeah. Not your character, not your facade, not the wall, but you as an individual. And I feel like that's, that is a lot more scary. scary. Honestly, it's something that I've, I, I dealt with, a lot i spoke about my um social anxiety yeah. on um social media that i've been having which i don't really talk about mm. that i do have social anxiety because i really want people to like I, I really want people to like me and i don't want anyone to hate mm. me and you know i want to have a good impression because i'm not hiding behind anything i don't have a uh a character. A character or anything like if you don't like me like you actually don't, don't like, like me me, me. like yeah, me as a yeah, human as an individual yeah, yeah, and, it's, yeah. and it's not a nice feeling it, no, it's, it's something i'm i'm processing and dealing with but i'm kind of glad i shared it because a lot of yeah. people especially a lot of creators but a lot of the bad boys and bad girls like go through it like normal yeah, people in yeah. every space and capacity go through that feeling of yeah. 
uh, social anxiety and especially mm. when people feel like you're very like overt and you're very confident you feel this like people it. don't deal with those things and it's only introvert people that are yeah. you know, quite you know shy and mm-hmm. that they go through but honestly girl we yeah. are all we are all suffering girl we are yeah no it. it's a lot it's a lot we yeah, are going yeah. through it but i think that's that's probably something that i probably need to work on yeah i mean year. it takes step by steps of yeah. course it takes it's time i'm easy. getting used to it I'm, yeah. I'm really getting used to it and, and that doesn't mean that you know i don't like talking to people or mm. it's just that i'm very critical about what people think about yeah, me yeah which i think i need to just kind of relinquish and just say okay good to hell kind of yeah, thing. yeah yeah it's a process it's it is a process 100 it's, it's, it's a process, a process. but we're going to move on to a game as always we have this game called win or bin mm-hmm. so i'm going to give you a topic of conversation and you are going to tell me whether it's a win or a bin mm-hmm. and why Easy peasy, don't be confused, don't um <laughs> don't be in the middle. Okay. You have to pick one. Oh, that's hard. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. You ready? Yeah. And all the bad boys and bad girls, please comment below your opinions because I wanna know. <laughs> We're not been fad diets. Fad diets. Yeah, so keto, paleo, one meal a day. Quick things, ben. seven seven day juices, all them things. Ben, why? Anything that is rapid for me doesn't last. Yeah, it's a process. This life's a process. You cannot rush things. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't rush time. It's mm-hmm. it's a process. Yeah, you have to do the work. And I think it's very instant. And anything that's instant, just like instant coffee, it's just not good. Do you know what I mean? I just think everything requires a process. Yeah, so it's a bin for me. I'm gonna th- I'm gonna agree with you. Have you ever done a diet before? No. You've never done a diet before? Not that kind of diet, no. A quick thing? No. You've been slim all your life. Yes. I hate your ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, basically, basically, yeah. Have you ever done anything uh, that, a, a, a weight gain, for example, like I know the girls were taking a pita men back in the day. There's I, all these. Uh, I'm very cautious about what I put in my body. I love that. You know, honestly, like, even when it, like, pills, just anything that, like interrupts your body from doing what it's supposed to do like even Mm -hmm. like holiday the holiday pill that people take if you know they go on a holiday then they they come on a period for example they want to stop it i don't take can we stop that no so i mean your body needs to go through what it needs to go through so Mm -hmm. if you have like that's why i have a plan obviously it it doesn't always go to plan but i like to plan my life around when i know that i'm coming on Mm -hmm. and I just can't take this pill that's gonna stop do you know what i mean because in my head visually i'm like i imagine it this, this might be too visual, but I imagine that like, the blood wants to come and then you now take a pill and it just it, it's just sitting there. Do you know what I mean? Just building, building. Build, build do you know what I mean? And then what's what's that doing to my? It just feels like it's this. I don't know. Can we stop taking that pill, please? Yeah, it's not I needed. don't like it. So that's why I'm I'm not it's, into it's, it. It's not it's yeah. not needed. I remember my friend. T- I've never taken it before, but even the thought about it, even yeah. th- even the the idea of it doesn't make any sense. You're really disrupting your your body's clock because yeah. you want to be boogieing down just yeah. let it just there's you just wait girl you better put that tampon in your butthole and do let it do what it needs and to let do let it do what it needs to do honestly pop two co- 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 are good or pop yeah. whatever you're and you know good. what they apparently they still get the um like the symptoms so imagine like still feeling cramps and the pain or like the mood swings, the mood swings, but without the yeah, period. you're gonna fuck it. That one I really don't co-sign. Like just let yeah. it go. And uh, girls are stopping it because they have dick appointments. Dick uh, can, you, babe, dick can on. wait. It's only five days, darling. Dick can actually wait. It can actually wait. It can actually wait. It's not that deep, darling. Like, it's they don't care deep. about our bodies. They proper don't. Dick we can actually to, wait. We have to care about it. We do. do we you know what I mean, a- we actually do. We're already pumping enough hormones and exactly, things like that. Exactly. Like, honestly, like the way in which we have glorified as women changing our bodies, like manipulating the system yeah. of our body with certain things. Yeah. I don't take um, injections in yeah. uh, a contraception. Same. I used to, um, when mm-hmm. I was when I was about 19, I took the, in- I took, uh, the injection. Mm-hmm. I was very, uh, I, I became very depressed. I put on a whole bunch of weight. Mm. A lot of women put on a bunch of weight uh, mm. from hormones. Um, I became depressed. I was suicidal. Like it was oh, really God. bad. And I didn't realize it was the. I didn't realize it was the injection until I went for my second. So it's every three months. Mm-hmm. Took my second. 
as it was weaning off, I was fine, I was good. Then I took it again and then I started feeling again. I was like, oh wow. my God. Honestly, I don't rec- I don't recommend it. I would yeah. say condoms condoms are the best way. Literally. Anything that it changes the imbalance of your hormone, I personally don't recommend. 100%. I'm don't you. take me for <laughs> a Bible. I am not a doctor. <laughs> this is it. And I know some women take it as well because obviously they have very, very bad period pains as well. Yes. So I know there's that. I would say there's some well. people like for example people that have um, polycystic, polycystic ovary syndrome yes they have a higher level of androgen mm-hmm. which is a male uh, which is a a male um hormone so sometimes they take hormones to Balance. increase their estrogen level exactly. because but if you don't have a hormonal imbalance that is causing you to be sick I don't see why you need to take it. Yeah, I agree. No, I, listen, I agree. Or, for example, menopause. Yeah. If you need to take something hormonal because your natural um, hormonal balance is not right, mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. But if you are a young, bouncing baby girl. Yeah, honestly. If and you have, you don't have peace, uh, you don't have polycystic ovaries, you don't have anything that will, that your natural hormonal balance as a mm. woman is skewed. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it. I I really I don't put anything in my body. Just just relax. Yeah. Just 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 keep it over there. Yeah. But back to diets. Mm -hmm. So I have done keto. Okay. I've done in uh intermittent fasting, one day meal, all of that, all of that, all of that. Yeah. When I did keto, I dropped the weight. So obviously for those that don't know, keto is um no carbs. So zero carbs, mm-hmm. your body goes into ketosis and um, basically Ooh. you start burning like the fat in your body. Yeah, yeah. I dropped weight very quickly. Your mm. girl was skin tea. I was very skinny. <laughs> I was very skinny. And then guess what? I put, what? I started eating the bigger, <laughs> they started eating the, my crispy sandwich. And then I put on more weight than I started with. Oh, see. Honestly, I think that you cannot do anything for me, and then go back to your normal eating habits. This is I it. feel like it's if you need to ha- create a new habit for mm. yourself. So if you know that you are a bugger bugger babe, <laughs> you are chicka chicka and uh, chips babe, <laughs> just cut down on that and yeah. then lo- and then stick to it in a longevity. Have yeah, it sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But don't don't uh, snatch yourself from it. Exactly, but it's. I think the problem is, is that people do these diets for a short period of time and then go back to eating mad things. Yeah, because you haven't created a new habit, right? Yeah, exactly. It's very instant. That's why I'm. Uh, that's why I'm against it. Because I know, obviously, like I said, I haven't done it myself, but I've mm-hmm. seen people do it, mm-hmm. and they say like similar to what you just said. You mm-hmm. know, they do the diet, they lose the weight, mm-hmm. but then they go back to their ordinary life of how they're eating, bugger, and, then they bugger, put, bugger, bugger. and then they put the weight back on. So yeah. I think if you want to do anything it's like with me like i want to tone and i want to be going to the gym and da, 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 mm-hmm. da. i can decide to not eat that much or maybe not eat carbs mm-hmm. or maybe do you know what i mean do mm-hmm. certain things but it's always gonna be there do you know what i mean all i can do is do the exercises that i want to do and do you know what i mean i just think yeah. you have to create new habits and it's, i don't like working out or any of those things mm-hmm. at all but I just think in general for everything in life. And for everyone. I've, I literally for everyone. To create a new habit. This is not limited to people that want to do weight loss. Yeah. I love my big, beautiful, bouncing baby girls. Yeah. Honestly. I'm a big, beautiful, you know, I love my fat boys. Yeah. Like, I love everybody. So, this is not for, we are not saying go and lose weight. Oh, uh, please, no. But Absolutely I feel not. like across the board of every shape and size, mm-hmm. it's very important to look after your body by what you're putting inside. Yeah. That doesn't necessarily mean that uh, skinny equals health this is it what you do put in your body will determine what your health looks like yeah i agree i agree and that's it there's some people that eat that do gym and eat salad 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 yeah. and they're a lot they're still quite big yeah, yeah. that's okay yeah, yeah there's yeah. a lot of people that will eat burger 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 and they're skinny it's not about the, the, this do is you it. know what i'm saying skinny, it's skinny. genetics as well really genetics, genetics play a very big just part manage in, what in you're this. putting in your body but in this that's time it. for me i want to i want to lose weight okay <laughs> That's just me. I want to lose weight. That's your personal but thing. Personal thing, but I agree. I definitely feel like lifestyle um, is kind of the way forward across the board. Like yeah. honestly, and especially in the black community, mm-hmm. there are so many sicknesses that, that that are literally a lot of it limited to the black community. Yeah. Like I know there's a higher of level, a higher level of prostate cancer in the black 
males mm. than there are in um in other Averses. ethnicities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is um I think there's another one. It's not diabetes. It's something to do with your kidney or something like that. Like that it's more common in in, black, yeah. in minorities. So there's actually higher risks for black people for certain health conditions yeah. just because of our color skin colored. Oh God! Do you know what I'm saying? It's so, like it's not like, easy. Honestly, These battles. It's not, it's, it's not easy. I'm learning it as well. And the yeah. thing is, because it's short, because we don't see it now, everyone is still young and bouncy. Thank you, Jesus. When we're now getting to big mommy age, this 40, 50, 60, uh, and we're now seeing my knee, my hand, God. my back, <laughs> my leg, my hand. It's actually true though. Then you, you know, when you true. are eating my crispy sandwich, <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> So but I'm gonna say Ben. I'm gonna say I'm ben, gonna say yeah. uh, creating good habits, yeah. creating good habits, having that self discipline. So just be mindful. We don't say enjoy yourself. Sometimes I like a dessert. I want a chocolate. Listen, cake. Listen, I love it. I don't want chocolate I cake love and custard. It. But lifestyle, but it's lifestyle, just, I whatever works for you, whatever works for you. Mm. I a hundred percent agree. All right, let's yeah. move on. Okay. Win or bin. Win or bin. I love that. Sing it. <laughs> Win or bin. Wearing your natural hair out. Okay. When you say natural hair, what do you mean? Can I ask for elaboration? Do you mean curly in as in oh afro? Leave your hair out, no straightening, oh. no nothing. Natural as as natural as when your mom pulled you out from her pussy. Oh gosh. We're gonna talk about this today. I'ma say I'm gonna say Ben. Talk to me. I'm gonna say Ben. Okay. Before I even elaborate on this, yeah, like it's it's depending on who you are and what you want to do. For me personally, me personally, I'm gonna say Ben simply because it doesn't. I don't, see, I'm trying to think of my words. It doesn't suit my lifestyle personally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, personally, I maybe I just don't know how to manage it when it's in its full curly state like i love it like when mm -hmm. i wash my hair and i see the curls and all of that stuff i really love it i really mm -hmm. enjoy it and i, I love it mm -hmm. but then it when it gets dry and then it like puffs up and all of this kind of stuff for me personally like how i like to style my hair like how i like to dress or whatever i just feel like it doesn't match the vibe that I'm going for, if that makes any sense. I feel like it makes me look a lot younger, like a child. Yeah. For me personally. Mm -hmm. So it's just not the vibe for me. But when I see on other women, they look beautiful. beautiful. It looks amazing. Ugh, they know girl. how to style it. It suits them. I don't believe in like, oh, your wedding day, you shouldn't have natural hair, you shouldn't have braids. No, like I think it looks beautiful. It mm -hmm. looks so nice. But for me, I don't know what it is. When it's in that state, it just doesn't give me the vibe that it doesn't give you the, Nubian queen. Do you know what I mean? It's, it doesn't. I just. I feel like I don't want to say it doesn't suit me because it sounds mm -hmm. like I'm saying the hair that's coming out of my scalp doesn't suit me. Mm -hmm. Of course, it suits me. It's my hair, but for me, it doesn't match my doesn't vibe. Your aesthetic, your bad be aesthetic. Is it this, doesn't for this, me. Is this your real hair? So this is all my hair. This is all my Girl, hair. Yeah. I'm so jealous. So this is how I wear my hair. Mm -hmm. um, I do a texture release or this is a texture release now. Mm -hmm. If it's not a texture release, it's silk pressed. And I know how to do it myself. So I do it at home. Lovely. I wash it every like maybe like four weeks. I'd wash it, treat it, and then I'll straighten it. Ooh. And then I'll straighten it. Mm -hmm. And for me, it suits my lifestyle. I don't have to worry about my hair. I wrap it at night or I put rollers in it. I know how to like manage it and I love it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? That's just my... That's your cup of tea. That's Do my you know vibe, what, sister. I hear it, and yeah. you know what? Yeah, I, I want to say win so bad. I want to listen. I want to say win. I want to so say bad. win so bad. When I was younger, yeah, I come from a background where I don't. I have not been taught how to look after my hair. Yeah, and it was always to cover, like we will put it like I've been wearing weaves since I was like 13 mm. before that it was a long extension braids different yeah. like that so I've never really been in a place that my hair I knew my mom never looked look, look after my hair I don't have I, I, I didn't have I don't have mm. a clue about my hair yeah so growing up here I really had an almost detachment from my hair mm. to the point where every time like every time 
my hair would grow out i just shave it mm. i would just shave it because i was like bruv like every time it grow it will be uh, dry thick it will mm. stop at a certain point yeah then the middle will now break so i'd have like the like it was all like uneven and i just mm. hate i just hated my raw hair yeah so I, now i was now shaving it shaving it but then obviously then around 2016 17 we now started having the natural hair movement yeah all the bouncy curly hair beauties yeah. now started like I was seeing girls with 4C hair but it'd be thick yeah. and it'd be long mm. and it'd be luscious and I was like why have I allowed myself to be conditioned to hate a part of myself yeah. like this hair is literally growing from my scalp this is actually a part of my identity yeah. and I kind of kind of I kind of deep where it it came from it did come from like a childhood conditioning where the girlies you know we'd sh- like we never no one ever had their real hair yeah, like na- yeah. natural we'd Facts. straighten it we'd yeah, yeah, yeah. curl we'd relax like, it relax it we'd have the cream crack on our like cream crack listen, like we need listen. to deep how cream crack listen they had kitty cream crack listen we're ch- teaching our children to actually like straighten their hairs that the our chemical. natural hair texture is not okay so yeah, let's put a yeah. treatment on it so it's more guised as manageable yeah whereas we hadn't been taught or there hadn't been an understanding of how to treat our hair yeah i agree and i think the more like even the words when i'm learning about porosity hair porosity listen all of that stuff i did not know that stuff never knew it growing up Mm -mm. never never knew about it so now i would like to say i'm on a hair growth journey now Mm -hmm. where i've not cut my hair um and i'm just allowing it to grow yeah i'm just allowing it i would love to just wear my raw hair yeah it's one of my biggest insecurities like Mm. i've like even when I date guys, yeah, mm. I've never, I think there's only maybe been one guy that I've seen my raw hair. Really? I swear to God, only one guy. Mm. I'm not off in this wig. And if I'm off in it, the cameras have to be fresh. I've never sh- shown somebody my hair in my natural state mm. because it's it's a big insecurity of mine. Yeah, and I think yeah. that's wrong. Yeah. It's, it's wrong, it's, yeah. I hear that. Mm-hmm. But also don't be hard on yourself. Yeah. Because it is literally like what we've been conditioned. Mm-hmm to think and feel do you know what i mean like obviously now we've had the movement and all of that kind of stuff and even there are parts of the movement that are a little bit negative because mm-hmm. obviously women that don't want to do the same movement they looked upon in a certain type of way mm-hmm. or they've got the front tools you're not black enough there's that conversation which is yeah. a different conversation completely but it's the way we've been conditioned yeah so i just think it's a process like i just people make it such a big big deal like if you take out your hair and you're like actually i don't think this this is not my vibe. I think that's yeah. actually okay. Like there's different versions of blackness and how we wear our yeah. hair. And actually my hair isn't the, I don't know, what's the word? Like the the striking point that's gonna say how black I am. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Or whether I'm ashamed or I'm proud or whatever. Do you see what I mean? But I do think there's like pressure in a sense for you to, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like if you like it, you like it. If it's yeah. your vibe, it's your vibe. If it's not your vibe, then figure out like how you can wear your hair out. Yeah, that is your vibe. It could be how you, like with me, I'm straightening it. Right, mm-hmm. it's still my hair. I love it. Like I said, when I wash it and I see the curls popping from the back, I always do it Insta story because I love it. I do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think you do get to that point. Like you just have to figure out like what works for you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think you, I think you'll get there. Like honestly, and like, I think if I, I hear what you're saying about it's not your vibe and i'm trying to understand i'm trying to understand where that comes from like yeah what where the way that standard comes from that it's come from the media yeah it's, it's come like i'm not gonna act like this has come from my own accord or whatever yeah the bad bees are wearing the 26 do you know what i mean straight, like if, yeah. if like when i was growing up you know we grew up in a way where i'm i was seeing the women that i'm seeing on magazines and television all of this stuff if i saw their hair from growing up and relaxer didn't exist in that idol world, mm-hmm. right? I think it'll be completely different for all of us. Yeah. But my mom relaxed my hair from when I was like three, four years old. Wow. Like, no one come for my mama, okay? But that's what she did. It's, it's because everyone's mama. Everyone's at the mama. time, she did not know. Remember, she wasn't taught also mm-hmm. how to deal with natural hair. And my yeah. hair was thick. Yeah. So you can imagine my hair now. Like, my ha- people always think I have extensions and my hair is very, very thick, yeah. right? So when I was younger, my mom was like, 
I do not know how to do this girl's hair. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So for her, she was taught, okay, when your daughter's hair's thick, you get a relaxer. Yeah. So I've been seeing my hair, you know, straight and all of that kind of stuff. And similar to you, like, I just kind of went through a process of like, oh, my hair was always covered. It was always, you know, either it was straight, like relaxed, or it was in braids or, you know, weave when I was a little bit older and yeah. stuff like that. So that was kind of the vibe. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like it's just, it's like what we know. It's what you know. It's and what you know. the media, all of that stuff yeah. has been brought forward to us. Mm-hmm. But now, like, obviously, like when I have my babies, I'm not going to relax their hair. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's just not even going to happen. Yeah. But I also know how to do their hair. So it will be up to them eventually. When they're babies, they're going to look like babies. So their hair's going to be out. They're going to have the little puff and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then when they're older, they can decide, decide yeah. how they want to wear their hair. If yeah. she wants to just have her hair in the afro, all that stuff, she's going to have everything that she needs and which we have now. It's mm-hmm. just a bit too late. But for us as mums we're gonna have everything that we need to know how to we're gonna know how to comb the hair where it's not too painful like mm-hmm. we know now we need to hold it at the root and then and comb it not just creepy not just creepy do you know what I mean oh my and these are things that our parents didn't know they didn't and know and also my mum didn't have no time she was fighting for her life trying to get her um, be able to stay in this country yeah, she's battling bailiffs this that that she didn't have time to be, to be about. On, online yeah. they wasn't even online they weren't YouTube yeah, to be watching videos yeah. about how can I do my baby's hair do you see what mm-hmm. I mean so I think it was just a different time yeah and I don't feel bad about it anymore yeah. like I don't feel bad like I'm not, I'm not wearing my hair in an afro fight me come on beats me come on beat me but what honestly, am I supposed to do I love every woman long, I love it it looks long, so beautiful long short ah short short uh, pixie cut long 25 beautiful. inch 26 inch I love but it I would love that to be a choice because that's what I want to do yeah. not because that's what I have to do because that's the life difference. was underneath my hair yeah, and I feel like that is that is the moment like that's that is where yeah. the moment that I'm currently in and I know a lot of girlies are in there yeah, but I want to yeah. plug you on something mm-hmm. I have something here so I had Amma from a plant oh, mate my sister she is absolutely phenomenal and I feel like she's one of the people who are really bringing the the problem of natural hair education in Mm. the black community to light. Mm -hmm. And especially the fact that a lot of the products that are guised as black, made for black hair, have chemicals in it that are not, not that, that, are not mm. for us, like uh, fragrances and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So honestly, like I'm gonna start my natural hair care journey and I'm gonna be using Plant Made, mm. but this specifically deals with tackling issues with um, Afro-Caribbean, all types, all types of hair, but the black girlies are obsessed with this mm. stuff. I remember when it first came out, they're doing drops, it's, it's giving, it's coming like crack. Wow. I've this heard stuff. of inches. I've heard yes. that's really Listen, good for edges. Drizzle. Is that for the edges? So dri- so inches is a hoil. Yeah, I heard that brings it's the edges high. back to life, which we Literally. need. We need. Listen, the edges, when the wig... Listen, Listen, let me tell you something. You know when you're wearing your wig, you've glued, 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 glued. Now, you've now torn the wig off. What's happened to As me? you've torn the edge has now come mm. off. You can't do normal ponytail anymore. You have to do frontal ponytail. Yeah. Because you've got no edges. Yeah, yeah, This stuff, I've seen people's edges come to life. I have a friend, actually, Remy. Remy came here last week, mm-hmm. yeah. She's obsessed with this shit. Remy, obviously, because she's got a uh, dreadlock, she's yeah, having yeah. issues with her edges. I've been seeing her using this and she swears by it. Wow. I need to get it. I'm not gonna lie. She says, so this is the hell. You go and put it like this. It's gonna pip it. You will just Ooh, you will just pour this, it. Right? And I know do you know what's so mad? I had I saw a conversation today on Twitter and people were talking about whether you should oh you shouldn't put oil in your hair because it doesn't cause the oil is seals and did we I'm not gonna lie, yeah, we're all just dumb. So, because I every <laughs> and the thing is people were like, Yeah, people were like, No. People, I, like and this is the problem. We're all going off vibes and yeah. also the education of hair is 
being taught by people with 3C mixed race bouncy and hair. It's different. They've got a different fucking it's hair, different babe. They've got hair. they've got white people jeans in them, darling, yeah, babe. They've not different. got our hair, mate. It's different. Sister like, from Morocco with her loose uh, curly hair. That's different curls now. That's a different curl. I've got wigs that's that curl. Like, is, that a curl or is that a uh, water wave? No, no. <laughs> is it a curl or is it a water wave? Which one? That is not Cali. You know them ones where they have to like you they will have to you these these girls will be like, Oh yeah, my curls. But when you actually see them doing the hair, yeah, they will have to pour the water. Yeah. Then after that they'll have to pull mousse so the yeah. cows can come by force. Yeah. Have you seen foot by force by fire cows? Yeah, have you seen it. them do it? <laughs> not that when you know sometimes like what, like as a black woman with forcey hair, you could just walk into uh you can just walk into rain and the hair will just poof. Listen, listen. Some girls listen. have to put moves. They've got to do so that uh, they can. And those are the girls that's teaching you how to do your curls. And, and you're you listening. Too, you're listening. You're, you're listening. saying, wow. Okay, let me come and put this moisture. <laughs> listen, Amma is a black woman yeah. from Ghana. And all the stuff that she has is literally natural homegrown stuff for our hair mm. by us. Mm. Listen, I. I yeah, hate, yeah. I need to try the inches. Please, but it, it sells please. out very quickly. Do you know what? Like fuck, I signed up. Fuck it. I will give this to you. This is for uh, you. Oh, uh, please. This is for you. Not gonna uh, have to. You uh, have no, she no. wanted me to give it to herself. I should say, it's sold out. It's sold out. I, I need to get it. You no, can have this. Have oh, God. I'll give it to you. That's my gift to you. That's my gift to you. You need that. But honestly, I think my favorite thing is, dr- is drizzle. I'm a very lazy babe. Mm. I would just, this one is, um, what do you do here? You would just um, spray it. Mm. You just pray and go. See me, I'm a very lazy guy. You just see, just do pam 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 pam. I love that. And just be going. That's that. it. You just do, that's what pam and be going. And be going, no problem. You will do, you will do just pa 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 pa. You now put in just pam 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 and be going. Honestly, I, love I, it. I love when it. I mean people, people have been raving about this yeah, stuff. Yeah, I've heard great things. Because if you look at, if you look at their page, it really does target the problems that women feel are problems forever. Yeah. So yes. where like, where you see uh, women that have hair loss here, yeah. that they've had for years, it's really just having a product that understands mm. what's coming out of your scalp. Yeah, yeah. It's really important. It's so important. Especially for like your, um, how you feel about yourself. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It, it goes back to what you said, like, mm-hmm. Wearing wigs and braids and all that, it's all fun Mm -hmm. when you don't have to do it. You're doing it because you want to do it. Exactly. And it's a different kind of struggle when it's like your hair's been damaged or you you know, you know feel judged. You want to go into a salon because you think the stylist is going to embarrass you or it's not a safe space, you know? I'll tell your story. This was really bad. I Mm -hmm. only have a specific person that carols my hair. Mm -hmm. I went to it. First of all, I hate going to salons because, y'all, for someone like me, who's already insecure about my hair. When you go to African salons, mm. why did the shop, <laughs> glass yeah. from here to here, like literally you're yeah. sitting in a chair and people are just walking by, looking in, looking That's in, looking in, point, looking actually. in. Like where's the privacy? Mm. So I remember, I remember I went to go and get my hair cane rolled from a shop I've never been to. And she said, that's 15 pound. This is back in the day. Yeah. That's 15 pound for cane roll. I said, okay, thank you, auntie. Sat down, put 15 pound. Mm. She saw my hair. My hair short. And it's also, it was, it's also like, uh, the the front is really long. The back is really long. The middle is scarce. Mm. And um, as she was doing the hair, she was doing, ah. She was doing, ah. Oh. ah. Ow. What like oh my hand is oh my hand is hot to me oh if I if I know your hair was so short I would I have would to charge, charge you more. more I was so embarrassed I was so embarrassed mm. it's that kind of stuff that just makes you yeah. girl give me that fucking wig right now yeah yeah give yeah. me that fucking wig right now but honestly I'm really excited about I'm really excited about this journey like yeah. honestly for me to even get my hands on this year it's it's very difficult to get no for real I'm not even I wasn't it gets, just sells out in like three fucking minutes out, honestly like, so honestly so quickly guys if I can if I can get Emma to give us a little giveaway <laughs> honestly if I can if I I will talk to Plant Maid yeah, I'll talk yeah. to Plant Maid and I'll see if we get a giveaway if not I am gonna get a discount code I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the code is gonna be Madame Madame, so you can get some money off. 
Um, but honestly, I'm really excited about this. Like, no, I I'm, really love this I, for you. No, it's, honestly. It's, honestly, I would love to, to, to have my hair long and just like wear it yeah. out one day. But honestly, I really am very self-conscious about my hair mm. but hopefully hopefully this. i can i can start the journey yeah, but guys yeah. um i'm gonna leave plant made in the description check her out like every time i see the instagram and i just see people that not gonna lie they have they have worse hair than me yeah i can't lie yeah, my, yeah sometimes i'm like as a girl my hair is not that bad yeah. <laughs> but, but seeing the speech seeing, seeing the, the progress the progress and seeing yeah. guys as well you're talking about guys that's going to attacky some guys that like I, i've seen pictures of guys hairline being revived yeah yeah being no. uh, resurrected like jesus christ listen because listen. Of, honestly it's no it's, i it's love i love this for you and yeah. i just love that like we're even like having a conversation yeah. do you know what i mean because honestly like there are so many things that we're insecure about and you'd be so surprised the amount of women who are experiencing the exact same thing as you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that insecurity about how their hair is, mm -hmm. honestly, and the fact yeah. that they can see that, okay, this is an insecurity that you're also dealing with, mm -hmm. you're not alone, it yeah. makes it better, do you know what I mean? You feel like, okay, it's not just me, there's mm -hmm. not just something wrong with me, Let's, I can work on this. I'm ready I mean? to face it, I'm really ready to face it because yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a lifetime thing, but like you said, if we can teach our daughters um, with the education that we're learning today, exactly how to look after their hair and and love their hair, yeah, I feel like it'll it'll be better. But it starts with us, so it yeah, it does, it does, guys. It does. Plant made, man. I I, I, I love and appreciate made. you guys. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm I'm very excited. I'll give you. I'll keep you guys updated. That's what I was gonna say. I'll keep you, you updated. Defo, like, I'll keep you updated like document it i'm gonna keep yeah i'll keep everybody updated don't yeah, worry i'll good. keep it updated all right let's move <laughs> on win or bin out dressing the celebrant is that full stop it's your friend's birthday <sighs> bin it's your friend's birthday she's having a little thing are you trying to shut it down are you trying to shut it down? Do you know what? I know I keep saying bin, but I'm just gonna say bin. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna dress how I'm gonna dress, right? Yeah. So I think, obviously, you dress how you're gonna dress as well. Like you're mm -hmm. the birthday girl. Come, like obviously, I'm not gonna come in glitter and. Do you know what I mean? You know when it's a birthday girl, yeah. you know what a birthday dress mm -hmm. looks like. So I'm not gonna wear that. Yeah. But my friends. I don't know about like your friends as well. But like, for my friends, if we're celebrating something, like we all want each other to look like bad bees. Do you yeah. know what I mean? All of us to come correct. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm gonna come correct. Yeah. And then uh, you need to come correct as well. Yep. And if you're not trying to come correct and I just happen to come correct and then the correcting is not really correct and then now I'm correcting more than you. Mm hmm That's not my fault. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm assuming me. <laughs> I'm gonna say win. Cause they win. Oh, to outdress the what? The... I'm gonna say win. <laughs> I'm gonna say win. You're gonna outdress the birthday girl. Listen, if I can outdress you on your birthday, then you, it's did, a problem. you didn't come correct. I'm <laughs> fucking sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I had a friend one time, yeah, and she explicitly told us, "Don't dress." She told me, "Don't dress better than me." Oh, that's a problem. Don't say that to me. Don't say that. If to it's me. your birthday, yeah, mm. and you decided that you want to wear. A boohoo two piece, and there's some good ones, but you decided to wear a basic boohoo two piece to your birthday. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's your fucking business. No, you're right. You're right. That's actually. your fucking business. Yeah, <laughs> you're actually right. It's the same thing that right. happened with Haley Bolden's wedding. Do you remember Haley Bolden Baldwin? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. With yeah, Justin, was... uh, with adjusted. I said, oh, because Justin, 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 Justin Bieber. Yeah, Haley ba Bieber Baldwin or mm. Baldwin Bieber. Mm, mm, mm. And she wore this simple dress to her wedding. Yeah. And Kylie Jenner came. And wore a bombastic dress. Listen. Who do we blame in this? We blame the bride because you decided to wear. You a decided to wear a simple fucking dress. Yeah, it's it's so sexy. So if you know it's your birthday, you need to come correct. You better and get if you don't those... know how to come to correct naturally, then ask for advice. Do you know what I mean? Because some people aren't yeah. really stylish. Honestly, of course, and that's okay. Yeah, some people aren't really stylish. Then and some people are not stylish. Yeah, at all. Do you know what I mean? Ask, so, the, ask the girlies. Ask the girls. Ask, ask your friends. Your friends. Is, this, is this given? Is it given birthday? Yeah. Or is it given? 
go into a corner shop. What is it giving? Get, get find a stylist. Uh, one of those. Uh, oh, find a stylist. Yeah, Come find on. a stylist. If you can, or if you can, or go on those Instagram pages and go and find the birthday outfit with those free Instagram yeah, pages. Yeah, they they've got different. some good ones. I think I saw outfit one closet day. is one yeah, of them. Birthday like, outfit, birthday outfit or yeah. ideas. Girl, if somebody yeah. can fuck it out, just show your birthday. Nah, it's peak, it's you peak. have to restart the fucking birthday. No. It's not my fault. If I decided I wanted to wear a certain dress, mm. and my body set good and my body looking nice, <laughs> and you know, and you went to guy wear one gown, just a gown like this, that's your business. No, but did you see the picture of the girl or the video of the girl? It was her birthday, and then her friend was wearing a crown. Let's talk about this because that's dif- this is what that's, that's why I, that's why I initially said bin because bin. that's why I mean different. this is this is an enemy that is pretending to be your, your friend. friend because I don't understand why are you wearing I, what did I say crown why are you wearing tiara for your friend's birthday for your friend's birthday like it doesn't that that's giving I want to look better than you and that's weird that's giving now I'm trying to be the birthday girl I'm the birthday girl now. <laughs> I, I look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me, look at me, look at me. I'm the birthday girl now. Mm-mm. That shit is weird as fuck. When weird. I mean, when I'm saying, if you, when I'm saying I'm I'm okay with outdressing the birthday girl, mm. it's because I'm talking about the attire. Yes. Personally, I wouldn't wear shine shine dress exactly to someone's birthday. Exactly. That's hate as shit. Yeah, exactly. If you're wearing like a shine shine dress, da da da. Your your hair you, you get yeah you get, that yeah. one you can't do that because exactly. those dresses my thing is this if you can't wear it to the club or you can't wear it to like a date dinner mm. and it's those type of attires are specifically for birthday you know the birthday dress we're talking about yeah, when you yeah. wear the sparkling embellished dress yes, you get exactly you know the birthday dress we know birthday dress you're not gonna wear the birthday dress to the club. You're not gonna wear the birthday dress to the, you know, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But if I'm wearing a nice, you know, um, <laughs> dress that I got from House of CB and the body looking good, you know? Sorry, sister, that's your business. Do you know what I'm saying? No, it is. But that one is intentional. Yeah. Sister girl that wore the tiara to her friend's dinner is a hater. She is your, she's not your friend. Enemy. She's your actually worst mm, enemy. Mm. She's actually your worst she enemy. She actually hates you, actually. She actually proper hates yeah. you. That one is yeah. intentional. A, a crown. Yeah. A crown. Because I'm like thinking, what is the thought process behind that? Like, you had to order that. That's not in your it. house, bro. It's not in your house. You only want a crown to the club. So how, why do you have that? Why do you have that to say, I'm the queen? Like I'm the boss chick. This I is can't my. Be friends with like that. I can I cannot be friends yeah, yeah, with someone. Yeah, yeah. It's like too much. Yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. Those, you know, there's always girls that's always trying to one up you. Yeah, I can't. No, I can't. I cannot. It's just I can't do it. It's so uncomfortable. It's so unnecessary. No. Even if you're trying to one up me, on another day, fuck like, that bitch on another day. But on the day of my birth, it, as well. Come on. You want to one-up me on Come the day on. of my birth? No, no, no. Get that bitch off the table right like, now. Like, immediately, immediately. Would, them lots were good. There are 12 girls in that room. And no one pulled and up no on it. And no one told her to I'm go like, home. why are you wearing a crown? Like, especially, like, I'm pretty sure she probably got there before the birthday girl, right? So all of them are sitting down. You didn't tell your friend, yo, why you got that on? Y'all better Unless than she's me. a comedian and she wanted it for banter. No, they no. There is no joke that is that funny that will ever be Listen, funny in that. I would be really upset. I would flick that crown off. <laughs> I would flick. I would. I will flick that crown off your motherfucking Oopsie. head and go home, bitch. Yeah, it's, it's home not, time. Yeah, go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's not nice. Like let, yeah. let people have their day. Let people like, shine. There's actually some people like that. Like they can't stand where they're not the center of attention. Yeah. So some way or somehow they have to be. I Hate the center of the tension. I hate that. Like it's very annoying. Like they can't. Yeah. St- like let people have their fucking they moments. People feel special. Like mm-hmm. I'm really big on birthdays. Not for myself, but for other people. I yeah, think it's really it's important. It's really important. Let them, let them feel nice. To celebrate, special. celebrate, celebrate people, your yeah. friends. Exactly. Celebrate your people. Give them the one fucking day of the year. Come that on, they have. please. Sis, she tried. She even wore her, the the birthday girl wore her shine shine dress, and a, she should. Do you know what I mean? She looked really shine, good. Shine looked really pretty. Her friend had to one up her, and the thing is, you know what? Even me that what she wore was even bad yeah it was actually quite dead <laughs> she wore one there cinderella pink yeah, dress yeah, some pink, yes. 
Yes. One Cinderella sparkling a princess dress with a tiara crown. That's mad to me. That is insane to say, I'm, this is my, like, it just, I've never seen anything like it, yeah. but it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Because there really are girls like that. Scary. That will, that they want to be the main character. They want to be, have you ever had a friend like that? No. Girl. That's why it just baffled me. I'm like, that is scary. What are we doing? She is bad vibes. She is she is a hard mm. bad vibe. Mm-hmm. Right? Absolutely I not. Can, Absolutely I not. Do that. Yeah. Like, I'm already. I don't really. I don't really celebrate my birthday. But yeah. If I had a dinner party and someone did that to me, it made me never want to celebrate my birthday again. Like, like honestly, do a again. like come on. Because like, how do you also how do you address that? Because I don't like conflict. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you know how you were like, I'll just flip it off her head or blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. I'm not like that. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so I'm like thinking like, how would I even... How do you address that without sounding do... like a hater? Without being... Because like, someone could flip it and be like, you're just being you're jealous. Just jealous just being yeah. Do you see what I mean? Like, yeah. so that in itself will cause this inner conflict within mm-hmm. myself. So now not only have you ruined my day, yeah. people are now coming. Imagine the waiters are coming out with the birthday cake and they just take it to your friend. To your friend. Because she's got the thing on her the head. The big fucking shine, shine like, no, crown. No, it's my birthday. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just a lot. And now you have to now have that conversation. How do you not sound like you're jealous? How do you not sound like you're insecure? Do you know what I mean? There's just mm-hmm. so many, like, elements. And I just wish I was tough, tough girl that could just be like, you, flick off, or oh, you, get out. It's actually yeah. go home. actually go home. It had to be one of my friends Y'all, to do it. I'm just going to say this now. <laughs> to end this thing, do not let anyone outshine you on your fucking birthday. If you know it's the day of your birth and you're inviting people, Listen. if you don't wear that fucking shy, shy dress and you don't wear that tiara crown, then you didn't do it right. That's all I have to say. Yeah. People need to know shit about the fucking birthday. Yeah, 100%. No one should ever, <laughs> ever outshine you on your birthday. Period. And if they try to tell us to go home, yeah. Shit, there's no fucking way. <laughs> if a bitch tries to do that to me, uh, you can go. Go and wear yeah. that dress in your house. <laughs> in your house, bitch. It's CNT, baby. All right, cool. Let us move on. Right, so we have another game. Mm-hmm. This is a very important game on the show in which we ask our co-hosts some cultural questions mm-hmm. and we call this the culture questionnaire. Okay. And we call this, are you smart? Oh, God. So Rita. I'm not uh, smart, guys. She ain't smart. <laughs> she says she's not smart. <laughs> she says she's not smart. Okay, yes. we're going to put that to the test anyways. Ooh, okay. We're going to put your dumbass to the test. Mm-hmm. So we have 10 questions. Okay. You can only give me one answer. Okay. You can't tell choice? me... There is multiple choice. Okay. You have to lock in one answer. Okay. You can't tell me Bobby, Susie, Becky, okay. Adam, Sophie. Mm-hmm. We're taking the first answer early. Okay. And we're locking it in. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. I don't sleep on the question. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Question number one. What was the name of the Nickelodeon show starring Kiki Palmer who played the vice president of a clothing line? Multiple choice? No. Oh, damn. Girl, it is question one. Damn, I can't remember. I can see the show. Like, I can see it running around. I can see the offices. I can see the outfits. But I cannot remember the name. We've got no answer. I've, we've got no answer. We've got no answer, guys. The answer was True Jackson VP. Oh, yes! Fresh and cool is just oh. what I do. T I U E J. A-C-K-S-O-N-E-P. Am I like showing my age? I don't remember the song like this. Girl. Like you're you're like remembering the song like That was that was a good television program. Like I don't remember it like that. Okay, focus. Question number okay. two. Nicki Minaj's song Barbie Dreams samples the hit song Just Playing Dreams by which 90s artist? A Snoop Dogg. B the Taurus B I G. C 50 Cent. I'm just gonna guess. Uh, <laughs> I love the way you're looking at me. Oh, it's not looking good, bro. Um, I'm just gonna guess. I'm just gonna go with B. The notorious B.I.G. Yeah. You are locking that in. I am locking it in. Ooh. <laughs> that is correct. It hey! is the notorious B.I.G. 
obviously I was just playing. Like obviously I knew that. Right. Do you know what I mean? I knew that. I'm just trying to be shy. Do you know what I mean, be humble. I'm so. Okay, finished. let's go in it. Come on. All right, I'm Question ready. Number three. <laughs> Name the movie. My mama always said life was a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Shit. No multiple choice now? No. <laughs> um Damn, I don't know. Um <laughs> Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Is that what you're locking in? That's what I'm locking in, but Right, we've got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That is incorrect. The answer is Forrest Gump. Oh, run, Forrest, run! That film. That film. Oh, I don't remember that line. Are you sure? It's My mama say life was soul was a box of chocolate. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I was I think that was a good impression. If it wasn't, <laughs> that was a really good impression, actually. I don't know. I'm doubting myself. Oh, no, no, no. It's a good impression. Thank you. Thank you. Thank mm. you. Question number four. In which country can you find Mount Kilimanjaro? Oh, God. Nah, this is bad. No multiple choice now? How many multiple choice? All of them. <laughs> You've only given me one multiple choice. Girl, we're on question number four. <laughs> First of all, I told you I'm not really smart, smart. Do you know what I mean? I'm more like street smart. You get I'm a street smart babe. In which country can you find Mount Kilimanjaro? India. Right. <laughs> it's in India. Okay, we are looking in India. We're looking in India. That is incorrect. The answer is Tanzania. Well done to everyone that got that at home. <gasps> Question number five. Which English sporting venue has the postcode HA90WS? Is it A, the Olympic Stadium, B, Wembley, C, Old Trafford? Wembley. Are you locking that in? Yes. The start had took me the fuck out, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) She said, Yes. <laughs> okay, we're locking in B. Locking in B. That is correct. Well done. I know that's right. See, I need multiple. Let me listen. I need multiple choice because sometimes you need to hear it, and then when you hear it, your brain now, ging, 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 and then the answer flows. Shall get right. Okay. That might have been your last multiple choice. <laughs> So, whatever happens after this. I'm finished, I'm finished. Question number six. True or false? Mm -hmm. Nick Cannon has twins with Mariah Carey. True. Are you locking that in? Absolutely. Easy peasy, that is correct. And apparently he currently fathers 10 children in total. I believe it's now 12. 12. It's actually 12 It's 12. So, um, editor, you're incorrect as well. (laughs) Not editor, sorry. I'm always shouting on my editor. Uh, producer, you're wrong. <laughs> Question number seven. How many characters does Eddie Murphy play in the iconic movie Norbit? In what world? How many characters does Eddie Murphy play in the iconic movie Norbit? Oh, Norbit. Um. I want to say... say five but it's, I feel like it's closer to ten I'm gonna go with six <laughs> are you locking that in see your face is making me not want to lock it in me something blink if i'm close do you know what i mean like am i close 
I'm not saying anything. She's giving me absolutely nothing, guys. Nothing. I've got a poker face. Like, it's very strong. In fact, it's actually intimidating. Actually. <laughs> um, okay, you know what? I wanna go, I'm gonna go with six, innit? You're locking in six? I'm gonna lock in six, yeah. That is incorrect. <sighs> the answer is three. I was close, oh, I should've gone with five. That's closer. You would've still got it wrong. But it's closer. Do you know that my spirit, my spirit said three, and I thought it has to be more dramatic than that. Do you know what I mean? No, in this movie, it was three. There has been movies where he's played loads of characters, but this one is three. Yeah, my spirit said three, and I thought it was too small. You should have listened to your spirits. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I should have listened. Question number eight. Okay. What ingredient found in bread also plays a vital role in alcohol production? This is going to sound so effing dumb. I want to say yeast. Am I wrong? No multiple choice. Multiple choice would have triggered. I mean, a brain thing. Okay, okay. So you, what are we locking in? I know this is wrong. I actually know this is wrong. I'm just gonna say yeast, but I know it's wrong. That it's some. Maybe it's something else. I'm just gonna say yeast. Okay, we are locking in <laughs> yeast. Is correct. <laughs> it was right. It was right. All yeah, right, that was correct. Wow, the brain is so fascinating. <laughs> your brain is fascinating, girl. Because like it's like it was there. Did you you know were that you, you was like, nah, couldn't. Nah, it's because I didn't remember. know where I knew that information from. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I felt like I'd heard it somewhere. But God, the brain that is. Pretty, the that brain was, is. That was good. Well done. Good. What, well done. What well a done. brain. Wow. Question number nine. Finish the lyric. Beautiful girls all over the world. Beautiful girls all over the world. Uh, oh my. Wow. Dude. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wow. This is why you shouldn't talk too much on your brain. It will just. It will just go you at any moment. Beautiful girls all over the world. I could be, I could be. No, 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 no. Beautiful girls all over the world. I could be chasing, but you. <laughs> oh, God. I'd rather do it. Beautiful girls all over the world. I could be chasing, but my mind could be racing. It don't matter if I ain't got it with you. Oh, girl. <laughs> Give it one more go. Sing the song. Beautiful girls all over the world. I could be chasing, but my mind would be wasted. They ain't got nothing on you, baby. Nothing on you, baby. Uh, they say hi. What are you locking in? The third option of what I just did. Unfortunately, I can't repeat it. I'm gonna give you that. Thank you. Was it close? You, there was, I'm gonna give you that, but my producer would have not given you that. <laughs> okay, what's the, what's the actual thing? It was beautiful girls all over the world. Uh -huh. I could be chasing, but my time would be wasted. What did I say? My mind would be wasted. Sense. You're the one that said it. 
you're the one that said it but i think i'm gonna give you that just because you will fight for your life i was fighting i think you I, i'm just gonna yeah, give you i'm just gonna girls all over the world i could be chasing but my time will be wasted they, they got, got nothing, nothing on you baby. baby that makes sense no you my actually, brain is lit you, wow you do it Oh, yeah. I have to give her that. I gotta give her that. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. And question number ten, final. Yeah. yeah. What is the term used to describe animals that only come out during nighttime? Foxes. No, I'm, that's not my answer. But those are the animals that come out at night. Or demons. But that's not an animal. It could be. Okay. Sorry. Carry on. Sorry. 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 Is that the question? Yeah. Oh, the same one. Okay. What is the term used to describe animals that only come oh. out during nighttime? Knock tall, knock. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, this is so chaotic. Fucking now. I'm trying to be serious. I'm trying to give you fucking serious. So it's not fucking out. This is funny. Shit. I think that's for people that don't sleep or come, or humans that come out at night. Like something like knock tall or something, knock something, N O C something. But that's not the thing, okay? All right. You could smile, maybe. No, she ain't even smiling, man. This is mad. <laughs> this is intimidating. Okay. Um, right. So obviously, um, I was not taught this word. So, Jamie, you know I, mean? I don't believe in animals coming out at night. As a Nigerian, that is bad vibes. So, unfortunately, I don't know the word for that. I just know foxes, bats, um, demons, vampires. So you're not gonna lock in an answer. Unfortunately, I don't know the. I. I feel like it's something knock something. Are you gonna lock in knock? Noctorial. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait. You're locking in noctorial. At the end of the day, you're laughing, but it's actually a word. Noctorial. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. It's not multiple choice now? No. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking girl. No, it's not multiple choice. Right, you're going to have to lock in something. You spent too much time on this one. <laughs> my spirit, there's, there's something my spirit is trying to bring out, but I can't find it. Like, there's something my spirit is trying to give me. If I had a multiple choice, I would have got this by now. There's a word. There's a word for people that come out in the dark. I'm gonna cut oh, you down. God. Three, no, two, oh, it's like, I'll go with Noctorial. One. It's close to that. It's close. So we've got Noctorial. <laughs> that, oh, that was correct. No, I'm just telling you what oh, we're oh, looking oh, in. Oh, okay, fair, fair. <laughs> that is incorrect. Okay, okay, what's the word? The answer is nocturnal. I ain't fucking giving you that. I'm sorry, I can't give it to you. Wait, 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 wait. I can't give it to you, right? Wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> wait. <laughs> no, no, wait. So what word did I give you? Noctorial. Noctorial. Yeah. And then what's the word? Nocturnal. Nocturnal. It's accent. It's accent. It's accent. Nocturnal. Noctorial. It's just accent. It's the fucking same thing. It's, it's the same word. It's not the same thing. You said Torial. Turbo. Uh, I can't give it. Half a point. I can't give you. Nocturnal. Noctorial. I can't. I can't. My mum. Look. Look. Can I say something? Yeah, I'm going to say something, yeah? My parents are Nigerians. Okay? There's a lot of words that they say that is different. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> when I was growing up, okay? My mom would do stir fry, yeah? Mm -hmm. She will tell me, Lamide, that's my Nigerian name. Go and get the wong. It's actually wok. Am I gonna judge her for that? It's wok, but she said wong. She'll get, yeah? Number one. Number two, another word. They will say, Lamide, I'm going to change gears. But it's gears, but it's the same word. Do you get? So I said nocturnal, you said nocturnal. That is Igbo, Europe, it's different. I think I should get a point. Personally, 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 it's given discrimination. Wow, my brain is so powerful. Because how did I know that word? You how was I even it. that close? You were close, you did get it. But I was so, I was, how many people know that? 
You didn't know that before you saw that question. I did. You did not know that. Until <laughs> your producer gave you that question, you did not know. I guess we'll so never if you, know. So if you're walking down the street, someone came up to you and said, hey, 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 Madame Joyce, what is the name for animals that come out at night? You would have said nocturnal. nocturnal. Yeah. But I guess we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you know I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it to the bad boys and bad girls. Bad boys and bad girls. Currently, Rita has five points. If she deserves the six point, comment below and I'll give it to her. Thank you. Thank if you. she, if you feel like that was enough it was. To, to get a sixth point, mm -hmm. we will add the sixth point and we're going to put it on the leaderboard next week. But for now, you've got five points, maybe six, depending on what they say. What they say goes. But bro, I've got at least 5.5. I got half the word. We Knock. don't do we don't do half said anymore. That was what I was being kind. Even with that mind and time, you're even lucky I gave it to you. <laughs> you're even lucky that you're shouting. I will deduct that one and give you four. Do you know what it is, yeah? What is getting to me, yeah? <laughs> is that I did not realise I was this smart. I'm smart. Don't do don't do your face like that. I did I'm smarter than I thought, and that is a <sighs> lesson for all of us. You are smarter than you think you are. You need to trust your brain. Okay? I did not know I knew that word. Where am I finding nocturnal? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, you actually, it was very fascinating <laughs> to see you regurgitate information. Very fascinating. Wow. Very, very fascinating. Big up you. You know what? Big yeah. up you. Yeah, actually. You didn't get one point on wow. none. Wow, what, what's the leader point saying? That people smarter than me? Oh, 100%. Damn. But you know what? This is a personal achievement. No, do you know what it is a personal achievement? But what do you, why why is smart how small how what someone got ten out of ten? I'm yet to have anyone that got ten out of ten. Yeah, it's not possible. We'll see. I mean, the day nine out of ten. Yeah, Who? I think Hema. Oh, Hema is very smart though. Hema is very smart. She's very smart. I think she got eight or ten. Remy got eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that. I don't know Remy. I didn't know. She's, but Hema is very smart. She's got her masters. She's got what Remy? Yeah. Very smart woman. Anyways, I don't have masters, but look what I got. I don't have masters. Do you know what I mean? If that's if that's if that's the if that's the standard, let's talk about it. My school closed down, so I'm fucking moving on, mate. I'm moving <laughs> on, mate. I'm moving on, mate. Hot topics of the week, baby. Cool. We are gonna move on to. Hot topics of the week. Of course, it has been a chaotic week. And we are going to start with hot new releases. So what's hot and new this week? We had Drake and 21 Savage mm. come out with their joint album, Her Loss. Her Loss. Have you heard the album? Yeah, I'm a, of course I have. Do you know what I mean? Talk to me. How did you find it? Um... I think it's a vibe. I, I haven't listened to the whole thing, mind okay. you. Um, but I started listening to it yesterday whilst I was getting ready. And I, yeah. I, I think it's a vibe. Obviously, I've seen, you know, the talk about what he said. Okay. Obviously, about Megan. Yeah. That's not cool. Um, I think Drake is an awful person anyway, actually. <clears throat> um, yeah, if you listen to his music, if you really listen to Drake's music, you will hear that he is low-key, quite bad vibes. He's very, very petty. Okay. Very petty. And he knows it as well. I mean, he a motherfucker Scorpio. What yeah. did you expect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows it as well. Like, yeah. he is not... Because he smiles a lot. When people smile, people think that's like kindness. Like a smirk. Yeah, it's like a smirk. Do you know what I mean? Like, when people have very wild, like, wide smiles, they think, oh my God, they must be so friendly. I don't get that vibe from Drake. At all. I think Drake is very... And I am in 0.1% mm -hmm. of his listeners when they do the yearly roundup on Spotify. Mm-hmm. I, know, I don't know anyone else who's 0.1%. She'll get. Do you know what I mean? So I'm saying this as from an honest place. Like, mm -hmm. He's very bad vibe. So that lyric was really awful and I hate that he did that. But I want to talk about the album as a whole before a we whole. get into the... Um, Specifics. Or the beef. Yeah. So the album itself, I don't feel like it was my cup of tea. Really? Um, I, I think, do you know what? I've been to Hamara Courage. 
mm-hmm. and that trap music is very very uh, prominent down there mm-hmm. they love all that in it and a comment and a scene and I wanna think of it and I'm drinking not a lean and I'm coming to the pot and I come it like it hot and I drop it like it hot and I tell them don't stop when I, I, I tell it I don't like that music. It's, I'm, um, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan. Um, I remember when I went to LA and that was all they were fucking playing and I wanted to be sick. Oh, like so after a while, it's just like, okay, we here. Okay, mm, like it's not, re- it's not really my cup of tea. So fair. I felt like this album wasn't for me. Okay. It's not to say it wasn't a bad album. Fair. There was some songs that I picked out that I thought, okay, jiggy, jiggy, boogie, mm. boogie, boogie. Yeah, cool, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. Cool. I thought it was cool, but... Like uh, all that uh, heavy, heavy trap stuff mm. is not me. I love Tony One Savage more so when he's with like other people who are a bit more of me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was o- it was okay. I mm. feel like Drake is at a place now where he's just kind of doing himself. And I think after the album that he had last time, um, which was more of honestly, a, never mind. Uh, was it called Honestly Never Mind? Yeah, yeah, Honestly Never Mind, where that was a bit more mainstream. And obviously, following the route of the uh, ballroom, the ballroom Vogue music. Obviously, he had to give. Something. Oh yeah, he had okay. to give something to the hood. Yeah, he had to give something to the hood niggas. Do you know what I mean? So that's okay. That's cool. I'm not mad. Right. So moving forward, mm. Drake is under fire because of some of the stuff that he said on the album. Mm-hmm. I don't understand what he was thinking yeah i don't know when he wrote the some of the stuff that he was saying right so i'm gonna play what he said did i where did i fucking start what you were saying that you're gonna look at the lyrics okay the lyrics are problematic the problem okay cool so i'm gonna i'm gonna play you what he said obviously i've got a sound bite here so i'm just gonna put it on my mic Mm -hmm. So he was making reference to allegedly Meg the Stallion lying about getting shot. Yeah. Um and yeah, so the line is this be lie about getting shot but she's still a stallion and that came from the song Cir- uh, Circo Loco. Yeah. So everyone is talking about this at the moment. Meg the Stallion also had some tweets to say, which I'm gonna put on, which I'm gonna put on the screen now. People attack me, y'all go up for it. I defend myself now, I'm doing too much. Every time it never ends. And this did not happen until I came out and say I got shot. Y'all don't fuck with me, cool, fuck it, bye. bye. And then she said, I know I'm very public, but y'all got to stop attacking weak. Y'all got to stop attaching weak ass conspiracy theories in bars to my name. Niggas nor hoes ever address me or at me with a fact or receipts. I am clout bitch. Keep sucking my pussy. So the girlies are very unhappy with Audrey Drake. How are you feeling about this sister? It hurts me, man, because obviously, like I said, man. I'm in 0.1% of his listeners. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Drake is my lover. Mm-hmm. But this is terrible. I don't know why he said that. I think it's mean. And it, I think it's... That's what these rapper men do. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they don't show support to women. Mm-hmm. That's the issue, like, mm-hmm. across the board. And it is upsetting because why are women not believed? Like, why is she... Like, obviously, allegedly, we don't know the ins and outs of this case. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, this it's not about that. But mm-hmm. ultimately, in my mind, I'm thinking, we don't know. So, why are you even talking about it? There's so many other lyrics that you could have said. Like, yeah. Drake is very talented. Why would you do that? Like, why would you even further cause one embarrassment, one further pain? You're having, now she's going to have to think about it. You know what your fans are like. You know how your fans respect you. So now, basically, you're telling your fans that she's lying. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's cool. I feel like it's very, I felt like it's very fair, unfair to use your platform. Yeah, in to, that kind of way. In that kind of way. And yeah. especially with especially with the sensitivity of the matter yeah i feel like having dismissing it with just a line in the lyric is very very disrespectful very very the way drake addressed that is mm. is disgusting and it's wrong because what it does is it gives insults exactly 
opening to attack her, which exactly. is disgusting. It's not it cool. should be handled in the way it's being handled through the courts, through the law system. Justice will be served where it is deserved. Yeah, 100%. And I just think it's unfair. It's unfair for, yeah. because, and then this is what, I think this is what pisses me off. Mm. Talk about it. This is what pisses me off, mm. yeah. We haven't heard the result of this matter. Yeah, because yeah? the case is on the, the 12th of December. The case is on the 12th of December. Yeah. When you publicly call a one woman out for lying, it gives men leeway to call all women liars. Exactly. That's my problem. Mm -hmm. There are so many instances, and this is why I say, ladies, you have to be very, very careful because the problem is when in a sad situation where you hear stories where... Um, in America happens a lot um, that women may, uh, there was a thing that happened with Chris Brown where women, a woman lied, said she was being uh, raped uh, mm -hmm. by uh, Chris Brown. Trigger warning, I'm sorry guys. Um, and um, it now, she he now had text messages of her her basically begging to have begging him to have sex with her. Mm -hmm. And I think the problem with those situations is that when those happen, men incels use it to discredit all women to call us liars in those situations. Yeah. That's what angers that is what angers me. Yeah. So many women come forward to um to uh, speak about their assault, speak about situations like mm. this. And when you are publicly calling a woman a liar, you're trying to call men all will, women. It's all not that like you're trying to call men piggyback off that to yeah. say, oh yeah, this is how these bitches always lie about this. A bitch is lie when about it's that. It's so rare. Anyways, moving forward uh, to the Meg Thee Stallion thing and Drake. Drake, to, to use his platform to discredit a woman yeah. is so disappointing. Very, regardless very. of the facts, regardless of what currently has happened, the case is still building up. Very. To use your platform to discredit a woman is disgusting because you are using, you have created a gateway for men to discredit other women. 100%. Because they'll be like, oh yeah. And especially because it's Meg Thee Stallion. Meg Thee Stallion that is a, um, is has become a, um, staple in the women community for sexual liberation to try and discredit her you are discredit yeah all you uh all you all the bad bees mm. all the you know how guys are you know how guys are like i've yeah. i've heard i've i've seen guys try and take the piss about uh women and consent and things like that yeah, i see yeah. in snidey ways like oh yeah don't touch her oh yeah consent consent oh yeah, she's gonna yeah. start if you touch her the wrong way she might mm, say that you're gonna that yeah, you touch yeah. you know i've seen guys it's yeah, disgusting yeah. i think it was it was just the wrong move it was just the wrong move yeah. on top of that um the conversation where uh serena williams was mentioned yes and her I heard, husband what was that about i did hear like i said i only got to listen to it once round so he basically called uh, uh serena williams husband a groupie yeah i heard that why i'm not sure i know there's a history between drake and serena allegedly they were dated back yeah, in the yeah, days yeah um i'm not sure what is the conversations that I had behind the scenes. Yeah, because I'm like, what is that? But this man minds his business. Honestly, she has a whole wife. She has a whole uh, husband, mm. billionaire husband, children, best mm. tennis player in the world. It's given attention seeking. Like, I'm not sure. I feel everyone's been on their Kanye shit recently. Yeah, it's given attention seeking. It's given unhinged. Yeah. Again, I don't know what's happening behind the scenes mm. with them. This could have been a direct hit at something that happened that we as the public don't know True. about. Mm -hmm. But just to be, I don't know, Drake. I'm I, the album yeah. alone was not the greatest for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's had better duo albums. Like the album that he did with um, Future was phenomenal back yeah. in the day. It was, yeah, it, yeah, it was yeah, a mixtape yeah. or album. I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. I know um, but yeah, it was disappointing to see the women are very rightly upset and they should be i'm upset i'm i am very upset yeah i'm upset because it's not nice i'm upset because you are creating opportunity especially what you know is that what was the what 
I'm thinking, was this calculated? Obviously, when you have Drake or 21 Savage, the song was very um, trap. Yeah. It, um, it was definitely catered towards the boys. The, exactly. Who's going to be listening to that? The album cover was a stripper. Like, yeah. are you? is this a win for the guys where mm. you're, you're trying to win sales at the expense of women? Because we all know what sells these days are men who do bash women. So you've just answered it. It's, that's what it's given. Yeah, is that, are you trying to sell that? Are you trying to sell to the incelic community mm. where it's all about bitches, money, and thrashing women? Yeah, that's that's, exa- that's exactly what it's given. And for me, at this point in Drake's career, like, it's just disappointing. It like is I said, disappointment. I mean, when you have a platform that. like that, even if, however you feel about the situation, mm-hmm. We need to understand this is no longer an isolated situation. This is a, this is a situation that becomes a conversation to all women that have been uh, sexually, yeah, uh, physically, uh, in this case, physically yeah, assaulted, yeah, yeah, and to publicly discredit her without there being a trial is awful. Is very very awful because yeah. you also discredit the women. You also give opportunity for other women to be discredited in their situations. Yeah. And then you have women that are not able to come forward in the matter. So that's what I have to say about that. I'm really, really disappointed. Again, my heart and soul goes out to every woman Mm. that has been in assault in every type of form. Yeah. And, um, yeah, fuck him. Right, so let's move on to the meat of things. Obviously, we're starting very, very sombering week this week in terms of news obviously again trigger warning we will be talking about death and and sad tragedies this week first things first um afrobeats megastar davida and his partner chioma sadly mourned their firstborn son ifeni adekele after he drowned in a swimming pool in their lagos home it has been reported that both parents were traveling while their domestic staff reminded the child the couple are yet to be seen publicly or comment on the tragic incident when i first heard this it was in the middle of the night um yeah it was in the middle of the night that it got reported by um insta niger blog and i thought there's no fucking way Mm -hmm. i said this has to be fake or maybe he drowned and then they caught him but obviously as it evolved it became more and more apparent that it was Mm. true Mm -hmm. are you okay yeah yeah, yeah. i'm just listening it's just so sad it i was really really um overwhelmed yeah i was really overwhelmed i am sending love the bad boys are bad girls Mm. are sending love to trauma and davido um for this unimaginable unimaginable incident um this is trauma's only child and davido this is his firstborn son yeah to lose any child in any space it's crazy, but they just, just um, they had just uh, celebrated, his birthday. celebrated his third birthday the week before. Yeah. Um, and yeah, celebrated the celebrated his third birthday the week before, and um, basically left him in the care of his childminders, and <sighs> allegedly he was in the pool for a very long time before yeah. they realized he'd got missing. Um, and he, yeah. So it's 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 really really sad, really sad. Grief is, I've never had to grieve anyone before. Mm. Um, so I can't imagine what they're going through, let alone their 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 child. Yeah. So sending love to them. Also, we had another death this week. Um, take off twenty eight. 28 year old Migos rapper Takeoff was fatally shot in a bowling alley in Houston, Texas. The incident occurred once shots were fired, once shots were fired reportedly over an altercation about a dice game. His fellow group mate, group mate and uncle Quavo were present, in, were present but unharmed. However, Takeoff was pronounced dead at the scene. And annoyingly, uh, videos were circulating the internet. Uh, videos of the rapper's body were circulating the internet. 
and authorities urge people to take them down. I am concerned. Mm. First of all, rest the peace to take off. Yeah. 28 yeah. years old. Absolutely love Migos. Um, I think Takeoff was my favorite. Right, he. I think he was lyrically the strongest. Yeah, for me, was the best rapper there. Lyrically the strongest. So young, over an altercation that like he nothing. he didn't have anything to do yeah. with allegedly. Um, it is really sad, but I feel like we've become so desensitized to death that you're posting that you're videos. that you're reposting videos of dead bodies and Come not on. to them i was seeing people asking for the videos like oh who's got the video of take off dead and bloody like i just feel like Ugh. we've become so sensitive desensitized yeah. to this type of content and we just need to be really careful because i'm hating how we're at an age now where people are families are finding out about the death of their family members Online. on the internet that's Oh, that's awful. That is awful. 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 Like we really need to. Be, I feel like we really need to be mindful with yeah. um with how we deal with death, especially when it comes to celebrities, because they're people at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's a person yeah. that we're dealing with. So to deal with it so candidly, mm. um, yeah. it, we need to we need to be fair. Yeah. We need to be fair, and I don't co-sign. Uh, posting and circulating pictures 100%. of people dying and people uh, screaming videos of people screaming and stuff like that it's just unacceptable yeah can we do better and can we respect people as well in this time because he's an artist but he's someone's brother mm -hmm. he is someone's ne uh, nephew yeah. he is someone's son yeah. please yeah. so rest in peace to him as well rest in peace another thing that has happened is there is a story circulate circulating that um dance hall singer spice mm. is in a coma yeah i heard about that <sighs> i mean apparently they debunked it though right someone came apparently out her the team. her team have debunked it mm -hmm. i saw a screenshot from the nurse looking after her that oh. she had sent to the media and is saying, allegedly, oh. that she is dying. This is all alleged. This is what I saw in the media at the moment. Um, she had surgery, a cosmetic surgery, which allegedly a, another doctor had already refused to do the surgery because he told her that she's had too many surgeries. She then went to another surgeon who allegedly was less qualified and is currently in a coma. God. I think if anything, this got to me the most because I've been in a situation where I have gone to uh, to Dominica Republic and a woman that I knew that was my friend had passed away due to surgery complications one minute she was there i was with her the next day i was with her the day before she died oh. came to visit two of my girls in dominican republic and she was literally in the room clammy clammy um she was screaming in the night and she had said she had told me guys um tell my children i love them i am going to die and I said to her, girl, you're not going to die in Jesus' name. You're not going to mm -hmm. die. You know how we say, you're not going to die in Jesus' yeah, name. Yeah. The next day, I got a call that she had passed away through the night, so leaving sorry. three children behind. Guys, so we need to start asking ourselves, is this really worth it? Is this really worth it? Is Big, is big Bomb worth it? I'm shattered. I'm praying from my core for Spice. Lord, have mercy on her soul. Yeah. Lord Jesus, please. She has got kids. Yeah, yeah. She has got children. My, I can't. I can't. There yeah. cannot be another black woman that dies because of societal pressures. Mm. Please, God. I can't. Yeah. I, if she passes, I, c I won't be able to take it. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. Because what is going on? 
what is going on dominican republic do you know how many people have died in that country dominican republic and they will just close and rebrand the reason why it's so easy for them to do these surgeries is because they don't have the same certification and regulations that we have in our european countries in this country you're only allowed to take if you're going to do lipo you can only take a certain amount of fat out of your body somewhere else else, you can take out a higher amount of fat Mm. here you can do you can't do it's not regulated basically it's not regulated as strictly as Mm. here my friend died from having multiple surgeries so she had tummy tuck breast Mm. leave she had tummy tummy tuck mummy makeover tummy tuck breast leave and something else, three uh, in one go, in one go, all in one go. And the, and yeah, here you can't, you can't have several surgeries yeah, yeah. in one. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to do that here. You can't do that here, yeah. but out there they can just be pulling you out. Talking, it's either you go for the lipo, then you go for the breast, yeah. then you go. They did everything in one go. Pat, the girl left four children behind. Yeah. It's just, I don't think it's worth it, It's not worth it. When it really, really comes down to it, it's not worth it. Like, I joke about not having a big bum, like, all the Mm -hmm. time. Because, I mean, I do feel the pressure of it. Do you Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, I'm always saying that girls with big bums, they get their rent paid and blah, 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 blah. Do you know what I mean? And I joke about it, but when I sit down and really think about it, I'm not going to, like, do surgery to, like, fix it. And it's weird because at the same time, I don't even judge women who do decide to Mm -hmm. do that. Do you know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. I can see and understand why you would want to do it. Of course. But it's like, when you really think about it, it's like, it's not worth it. It's not worth your life. BBL in particular. That's what I'm saying. BBL, because that's the one that here is deemed as dangerous. It's, they said, BBL is more dangerous than heart surgery. A, A surgeon. And that's enough for me. A surgeon said BBL is more dangerous yeah. than heart surgery yeah. because there is a specific artery that goes, that runs through, I think it's just at the back of your leg, between your bum and the back of your mm-hmm. leg, that what happens is a lot of time they will pump fat in there, they will pump the fat into the artery, the artery will move, will be traveling with fat inside the artery heart attack flat line on top of that we're talking about if guys if you go to dominican republic because i've been to not punta Conta where they've where they've glossied it yeah go to d or go to the city where the streets they don't even where the streets don't are not even laid properly they don't even have solid ground oh. where the lights you know dominican republic is like a third world country i've been don't go to punta Conta where this gl- <laughs> Go to the real DR and see. And see if you want to go and pump your bum there. That place is so unregulated. Scary. It's scary. That literally, when scary. I went to Dominica, I said, wow, this place is bush. Yeah. Scary. It's like, it's like, I've never been to that Nigeria, but it's like, it's like how I'd imagine that Nigeria. Probably not as hustling, but yeah, obviously yeah. they've got the, they got you nice got the, parts. everybody goes to Punta Cancer, Punta Cancer. Yeah, yeah. Go to the Dominican Republic, go to, go to, yeah, go to the main city, <laughs> and you will never, don't think, you will not pump your bomb there. But isn't it scary the lengths that people are willing to go? to get a big one. And I understand. I understand, I understand the pressure. It. And that's that's the, that's what scares me though. Yeah. The fact like we both we, we're sat here and we understand it. That's yeah. why I'm like I'm not even I don't judge women who want to do it. Mm-hmm. I I don't judge them. I get it. But that's what scares me. Yeah. The fact we're that willing I to get take it that risk. And the risk that people are willing to take in order to achieve a certain aesthetic. It's really really it's sad. Really it's sad really and scary. sad. I don't and it could be to... anyone. Do you know what I mean? It really could be. I've had so many stories. Yeah. If not that, it's infection, stuff like that, that you get from the surgeries. But please, guys, I am not saying don't go and do it. But do your research. Fuck it. I'm saying don't don't even go to Dominican Republic. Don't even yeah. fucking bother. Don't yeah. even risk that shit. Yeah. yeah, it might be cheaper. I That's what I said. I, do you know what? Thank God, God, God save my life. Because yeah. I was going to go to that doctor. That's how they would have killed me there, I swear. Oh that's God. why I went, because I actually was planning to have surgery. I had booked the money. 
I booked everything, the flight, the recovery house, everything, everything, mm. everything. My spirit was saying, Josan, don't do this thing, don't do this thing. It was eating me. Wow. God was telling me, no, wow. no, don't do it, don't do it. It was literally, my soul was so uneasy. I wow. could not shake it off. I could not shake off the feeling of death, couldn't shake it off. Wow. So I decided not to do it. But I decided, let me go on the holiday. Anyways, let me just have a little holiday. And the girls that I was doing, that were my surgery buddies, were going for this. So I said, might as well go and check out the girls. That's how one of the girls in my group passed. Died. God. That is. You wow. can imagine. Yeah. You can imagine. That's how one of the girls in my group died. It's mad. So, guys. I'm sending love to Spice. I'm sending love. Listen, if you're going to do it, do not be flying out. Even if it's £10,000 here, if you really want to do it, do your due diligence. But more than importantly, just love yourself. I can't be a hypocrite Honestly. and say to girls, don't go and do it because I've had stages where I'm like, ah, if I just go and pump my belly, I will never do BBL. Yeah, yeah. Since then, maybe lipo I will do. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. the honest truth. Mm -hmm. Maybe lipo, yeah. I would do, but even the, I, I'm. It's even let's let's check ourselves. Yeah, it's even sad, the fact that we're still in that thought process. Yeah, of even hearing these things, I still saying, well, maybe lipo, maybe not bibio, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, guys, seriously, I get it. It's though. sad. I, I get it. We have to be. I, I want to be real. I don't want to be fake to you yeah. and tell you, ah, oh, don't go and do it. People are dying because me myself. You want to do it. There's things that you I'll be thinking, I'll, I'll consider yeah. doing, I'm like, mm, maybe I should close my eyes. I'll be like, but all in all, girls, mm. don't go and be, it's not worth it. It's, it's not really worth not your, worth it. The thing it. is, it's, it's not, not really worth, worth your it. life. And I actually think that like, when people really think about it, mm -hmm. they know it's just, it's not worth it's your really life, worth your you life. know? It's but life, you kind of trick yourself and be like, oh, it won't be me. Or, it won't be I'm you, gonna yeah. Do this, I'm going to do it like that and blah, 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 blah. And I mean, <sighs> It's such a difficult one because it's a difficult one. I don't think if you want to improve something about yourself, it means that you don't love yourself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just it it's such a techie conversation. Do you know what I mean? Because there's some things about me that I don't really particularly like. Mm -hmm. But overall I love myself. Do yeah. you know what I mean? But there's just bits that I'm like, oh, I would want straighter teeth or, you know, yeah. I wish maybe I had higher cheekbones or whatever. But I think ultimately it's like what you said, like, please just be careful. Just be, Do you know what I mean? Don't, oh, Do man. your research. And actually, if there's anything that you want to get a discount on, it should only be food and clothes. Yeah, not please. Not fucking your surgery, mate. Body, Jesus fucking your Christ, surgery, mate. surgery, like, teeth. These things are, like, permanent. Like, don't do that. That's not the place where you want to save money on it. Do you know what I mean? It's just not. I'm going to move on, but I don't even know if I want to move on because what is what happened this week? I think those were the main... Halloween disaster. On the night of Halloween, at least 156 people died in a stampede oh. in Seoul, North Korea, in South Korea, the popular nightlife district. Guys, That's really I need scary. to pray because I can't. Really can we pray please yeah. heavenly father what a week heavenly father please this has been a very intense mm. this has not been the great a great start to the month mm. father lord we just pray for your love we just pray right now for your peace in mm. a world of chaos right now Father Lord, we just pray that you give us peace and you give us strength. Mm. The chaos in the outside world, but also the, the chaos in, in our lives as well. Mm. We just pray, Lord, that you just settle and calm the storms right now. And we just pray for a, a better November. May this not be the start of a terrible month, mm. but we just pray that this is just a blip in the atmosphere and we will continue to spend the end of the year in in happiness and gladness. Mm. Guys, I'm praying for everybody listening Amen. and watching this thing because I can't faint and you will not faint in mm. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Girl. Amen. Honestly. Girl. Amen times a hundred because <sighs> it's been it's a lot. It is a lot. It is a lot. It's a lot. What a week. Yeah, it's a lot. I think this is the most sombering week yeah, I've yeah. had. There's nothing here that I had that's good. There's there's nothing here that's good, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot. <sighs> Cocktails and takeaways. So, there's a video of three American Ugandan daughters calling out their fathers for cheating on their mother circling in the internet. They confronted him with WhatsApp messages between him and his mistress on the TV screen. Have you seen that video? Um, I saw the beginning. Yeah? And I didn't watch the rest. How did you feel when you watched that? <sighs> no. Look, the thing is, yeah, those kids did that for themselves. Like, first of all, it shouldn't be on social media. Nope. That's, let's just start there. That's number one. Number two, they didn't do that for their mom, in my opinion. Okay. And this is what I mean. What an affair does to a family yeah. and a marriage is irreparable. Yeah. Okay. And if you find out that your dad has cheated on your mom and that kind of stuff, this is not something that it's not repairable. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And you have to ask yourself, are you telling your mom for you yourself, your ego, mm -hmm. because you want to tell her? Mm -hmm. Or are you doing it for your mom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you tell your mom, fine. But why are you filming it? Why are you why filming are you putting it? it on the internet? Your, your mom's, mom's already embarrassed. Yeah. yeah? Whether I didn't watch, like I said, I didn't watch the whole video. Yeah. Your mom's already embarrassed about something. A co like, a, a com confident, is that the word? Uh, my, my English is doing yeah. me. Has been broken. Yeah, right? confidence, yeah. You're doing this publicly. And actually, your mom's going to be embarrassed that even you, because let's, if the mom found out by herself, yeah, mm -hmm. there's a high possibility that the mom won't tell the kids. Right? She, girl, she, she might already know. Because right. when she was sitting there, she was sitting there so calmly that she didn't. She didn't. So one, she may have already know. She mm -hmm. might already know, right? And she decided, you know what? It's fine. I'm just going to deal with it myself and I'm just going to accept it and I'm just going to move on. Like, we've been together for 40 years. Am I going to start again? That's mm -hmm. what a lot of mm -hmm. women would say at that mm -hmm. point in their lives, right? So not only the kids know, that's already embarrassing. That's already yeah? embarrassing. That's already upsetting. Now you're forced to make a decision, right? You're forced to do something because now your kids know, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You've got this responsibility. Two, you've now put this on the internet. So now people, one, who don't know you are going to see it, strangers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's already embarrassing. Yeah. On top of that, family members are going to see this now. Lord something Jesus, that yeah. should be in the house, right? Mm -hmm. Dealt with in-house. People, family members, people that you like, people that you don't like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are all gonna see this. And my question is, for what? Like, what did you, like, as the what, kids, what, was what, the do goal? You, what do you gain from that? Yeah. This is your family. This is actually your family that you're supposed to be protecting. I think this is, the, 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 I, I'm in two minds, yeah. I'm in, I am for calling out parents on their bullshit. 100%, First I understand of all, that. We have been conditioned to, be obedient and subdued of little course. little African children. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To the point where even if our parents are in the wrong, we cannot call them out. Yeah. Because of the respect standard yes. that has been set yeah. in our society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am all for speaking your mind. Yes. But Sister Girl was clearly watching too much cheaters <laughs> she was watching too much cheaters because that response uh -huh. is the type of response that you give to when you see your nigga cheating <laughs> on the streets not your family this is your dad yes yeah this is your father yeah this is and that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be called out yeah. but i feel like there should have been a level of respect that was maintained you could saying your dad Oh, what, what did this what did this girl even say? What did she say? Yeah. She said she just was calling him out of his name. I'm embarrassed by you. You're disgusting. Look at you. You're not my dad. I'm not like like that's not how you talk to your father. That's not yeah. how you talk to anyone. Scratch yeah, that. Yeah. That's not how you talk to yeah. anyone. But also let's be for real. Like 
the thing is, sometimes we see our parents as not, and it comes from what you said earlier, actually, yeah. about this whole thing, like being taught like this reverence and this respect and this, yeah. that, 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 that. We act like our parents aren't humans. And yeah. how I say, and when we, I talk to my friends, how I see parents is, it's like me and you right now having kids, right? Yeah. Who you are is who you are, mm-hmm. but you have a child. Who mm-hmm. I am is who I am, but I have a child. I'm still gonna be me, I'm still Rita, right? I'm mm-hmm. a human being, like, Things are gonna happen, you're gonna mess up, okay? Mm-hmm. It's just life, you're gonna do things. And our parents are not our super, like, there are superheroes, but they're not immune to mistakes. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So yeah, okay, cool. What your dad did, it is embarrassing. I get it, fine, you're angry. He betrayed your mom, of he course. betrayed the family. Of like, course. I understand that, right? But he's also a human being. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? And he's gonna make mistakes. And actually, you don't know how you're gonna be when you get married. You don't know the situation in which you can find yourself where you're having an affair in your relationship. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I just think call out your dad for sure. Hundred percent for sure. Talk to your dad and be like, "Yo, what you did is this." Blah 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 blah. Call yeah. him out. We're putting it on the internet. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely I couldn't. That's filming what I couldn't it. Watch. You even filmed it? You're using putting this for Putting it on the content? TV screen? You're using this for content? Like, like, think about your mother. Think about, like... And that's, and that's what pissed me off. Personally, that's why I didn't watch it. I've, I've seen people talk about it. Yeah. But for me, personally, what... Not pissed me off, because I didn't care that much. But what annoyed me about yeah. that situation was her mother, they're not thinking about their mum. Yeah. And that's what upset me, because, listen, marriage is difficult. Difficult. And marriage is long. And actually... Our parents' marriages, you don't know the ins and outs of what's going on there. Exactly. And allow your mom to make her decisions about what she wants to do. To do, not That's you not as up a child. You as a child. It's not, not you your child, relationship. It's relationship. It's not your relationship. It's separate. There's a mom and dad, and then there's wife and husband. Mm-hmm. The wife and husband bit is none of your business. None of your, it's none of your business. Honestly, and that's the reality. And I think the more you grow up as an adult, you realize it's none of your business as a child. You can be upset, you can be angry, you can cuss out your dad, you can cuss out your mom, whoever does it, cuss them out, call mm-hmm. them out. But at the end of the day, do not make the, the decision for whatever parent. Yeah. You're they're, ruining they're, their marriage. Yeah. They're gonna, that your parent is gonna resent you. That's the reality. I would say if there was, if that information was found, call them out. Call them out. Call them out but not in a way that embarrasses her. I think that's Why are you embarrassing issue. your mom? And not, not in the way where you speak to someone. I, oh, that's I not don't love, agree in my to opinion. talking to anybody like that. Yeah, yeah. I in, like that's, that. in a sensitive situation like that. Yeah. Unless it's not, no, in any way, any way, really. Yeah. You shouldn't. I'm not saying that I haven't done it before. I haven't cussed some people out. I've cussed yeah. them. <laughs> but it's not It's not the right way to, to do things. Yeah, it's not yeah. the right way. It's let alone your dad with your mum in the room putting TV screen like it just yeah. was given I'm trying to do a sh- I'm trying to give a yeah, show I don't like, like that and I just I, I, do you just feel like I feel like the younger generation as we go down are a lot more disrespectful anyways. very the very. stuff that my brother gets away with I would never dream <laughs> of saying or doing that to yeah. my mother <laughs> like never like there's just the uh the the lack of respect yeah, yeah. has become beyond just be vocalizing your emotions it's yeah. now become like you'll just talk to them anyhow and they'll say okay no no it's un- i think anyways it's i do not co-sign that i'm giving At i don't all. give a fuck i'm giving her i'm giving them silly billy those ugandan children they get silly billy from me yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. and we're gonna close it from there uh yeah we're gonna close it from there very interesting episode Sold, um very volatile we laughed we we cried we were angry but of course always we had a good motherfucking time and we thank did. you rita where do we find you on the internet Same man? you can find me on ms rita b i'm on tiktok i'm on instagram i was gonna add a third one but i'm actually not <laughs> those are my two main places and it's ms r i t a b big fucking per and again <laughs> guys it's always a pleasure thank you so thank much you for tuning for in me. Thank you for coming. And of course, guys, I fucking love you. The bad boys and bad girls, we always here. I'm going to be here next week on a Wednesday, not a Thursday or a Friday. Sorry, guys. I know I've been so late sometimes with the with the drops, but please forgive me. I'm trying. We'll be back next week with another bad boy or a bad girl. And with that being said, we motherfucking out. And happy new month as well. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Purr! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>